in the lands of Zaran. The humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attack. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war soon change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Well, I think that's everything. We did it, hun. We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but, son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good. That's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right. Get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. You shall die by my warhammer, Drow Elf! Nuh-uh! I banish thee to the forest realm! That way, I banish you first! Ha-ha! <laughs> you can't hold out much longer! Help! Somebody! I can't hold out much longer! Help! Hey, no fair! That's cheating! I'm gonna tell my mom! Thanks, kid! I didn't realize he had a health potion! <laughs> my name is Butters the Merciful! I'm a paladin! I live right next door to you! We should be friends! Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King! He's been talking about your arrival! The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. All hail the Grand Wizard! So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Banker. I am the Wizard King. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kenny wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. Fighter, mage, thief, or Jew. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. 
You look sneaky enough to be a thief. It's you, huh? So I guess we'll never really be friends. We welcome to our kingdom, Douchebag the Mage. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. Ah, you have procured a weapon. Yes. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. Come on, fight. Ah! Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Ah! Oh, shit, dude, I think I see blood. Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it's PP. Douchebag, use your mage ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Oh! Way to wipe that smile off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. This does double damage. Ha! <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! You were all like, beam, and Clyde was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you prove yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The Stick of Truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick, controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the Stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive positions! Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the Stick of Truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag, this is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Eat shit! Uh. Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counterattack! Look at your enemy on the ground, weak and helpless! Kick the shit out of him! Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass! Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King! Great job, douchebag! Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's gone. What? The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No, you can't do that. Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah, go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, <laughs> if you can make me a douchebag, I sure can fight! Shut up, Scott, nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen. And we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors. Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! What, you... You want me to fight with you? Okay, this paladin is ready to kick some ass. Jeffrey Odois and struck him repeatedly in the head with his hammer. You looking for Craig? Well, he can't play. He's in detention. Something about flipping off the principal. You better get to the other guys first. Psst. Psst. 
Hey, over here. Don't worry, I'm not here to hurt you. It's me, Al Gore. You know, Al Gore, I'm super important. All right, look, I've detected some very strange activity in this area. I believe we are dealing with Man Bear Pig. Yes, the Man Bear Pig. I know you're scared, but I need help. Take these and place them in the location specified on the Man Bear map, Pig. And now I'm going to make you my friend on Facebook. This is very prestigious. You have my email now, but don't give it out to anybody. I'm super serial. Hurry! We must know if Man Bear Pig is here or not! Welcome to Tweet Coffee. Coffee made with ingredients supplied by local organic suppliers. It's local coffee, brewed locally. Tweak? Tweak! <laughs> Have you picked up the fresh local ingredients? <laughs> I'm not yet, Dad. I'm still trying to do all my chores. Well, hurry up, son. The family business is relying on you. <laughs> What's this? Huh? Now? The guys need me now? Just don't leave me. It's way too much to do. How am I supposed to do all this? Wait, you! Could you go get the four o'clock delivery for me? If you do, I can finish here and then, and then I'll still have time to play. Please, would you? It's at Kenny's house, like always. You give them this, they'll give you the delivery. What? Oh, this isn't for me. This is for the nice people who are renting the guest house out in the back. Yeah, yeah, we got the package for Tweet Coffee. Uh, we got these the envelope. Witch doctors must be, these guys might be Santa. Hey, that's not the usual kid that picks up the package. Huh? Oh, shit. It's a kip! Ah! 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 Where's today's delivery? Right here! Hmm, yep, that's good shit. All right, Tweak, you can play for a little bit. But be home before dark or you'll be grounded. Grounded, like the fresh grinds of our all-organic Tweak blend, made with ingredients from local tweakers. Thanks, kid. I gotta go get changed and then I'll meet you at the kingdom. If you try again, I will pepper spray you back to the Stone Age. Well, hello there, Jimbo and Ned. Well, what brings you here today? Business or pleasure? Or vengeance? Vengeance! You've come to the right place. I warn you, sir, I have five years training at the mall. Move along, sir. What the fuck? Oh, no! Oh! Ow! Good move! Along! That shows a wreck! Yeah? Can I help you? What's this? Oh. The elf stick the stick again? Hang on a second. Thank you for thy message, traveler. I shall make haste to Koopa Keep. Mom, can you drive me to Eric's house? Move along, sir. I can't look at you without feelings of deep personal shame. Well, soldiers, reporting for duty, Grand Wizard. Nice work, douchebag. Now all my men are here and ready to fight for the... Wait a minute. Where's Feldspar? Where's my level 12 thief? Uh, hey, yeah, where's Craig? He's in detention. What? He flipped off the principal, so he's in detention again! Oh my god. If they've locked away our thief in detention, we have no hope of getting back the stick of truth. We have to break him out. Ah, no way, ma'am! Last time we broke Craig out of detention, we all got in trouble! Getting into trouble is a risk that Douchebag is willing to take! You have to break out our thief, Douchebag. But don't worry, I will not let you go unprepared. I'm going to teach you how to use magic. Meet me at the training barracks. It's time for you to learn, Dragon Shout. You fight well, douchebag. 
But to truly succeed in combat, you must learn to harness the power of your fart. Farting on an opponent at precisely the right time is key to battle. I shall show you how it's done, but first, you must take the gentleman's oath. You must promise to never, ever fart on anyone's bows, okay? Farting on an opponent is necessary, but farting on someone's bows is not cool. Do you understand? All right, then let's begin your training. To conjure dragon shouts, you must first clear your mind and take in a deep breath through your butthole. Like so. Then, let it rumble inside you, and... Dragon shout! Now you. Ready? Dragon shout! My god, that was incredible. A man could live a hundred years and never again witness a spell so boisterous. Could it be that the prophecies are true? Could it be that the dragonborn has come at last, in our hour of need? Now let us try your skill on a real opponent. Hey, hey, Princess Kenny! <laughs> could you come here a sec? <laughs> Shh, no time. Okay. Just real quick, Princess Kenny. Sir Douchebag wants to show you something. All right, you two. Spar! Sir Douchebag, show Princess Kenny the magical powers I have taught you. Ha! <laughs> that was fucking hilarious! <laughs> Dude, that was fucking awesome! <laughs> oh, okay, good job, Sir Douchebag. That was sweet. Thanks, Princess Kenny. That's all for now. Thank you, love home. <laughs> okay, okay, but dude, seriously, remember, don't ever do that on someone's balls, okay? Seriously. You have mastered dragon shafts. From now on, it will be easier for you. Kenny will assist you on your quest, douchebag. Now go get Craig while I rest and relax upon my throne. Craig, Craig, this is detention, okay? Stop looking at your watch because you're here for three hours, buddy, okay? Whatever. Now don't think your friends are gonna come bust you out this time, Craig. My name is Feldspar, and I'm a level six thief, and the humans will soon rescue me from this tower. No, your name is fucking Craig Tucker, and you're in detention. Now start doing your homework. Okay, I've got all the doors sealed, and I've got hallway monitors working overtime. Nobody's gonna save your ass today, Craig, okay? There's a rumor the girls have a secret base, but I've never seen it. Excuse me, but school is out, and no students allowed on the premises until tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. You are in reach of school on, must be punished! Well, what the heck? I'm gonna get grounded anyway, you might as well! I really feel sad for him. Officer down! Officer down, send back up! I repeat, officer down! All hallway monitors to the right hallway! Oh, God damn it! Here they come. They're gonna get you, Craig! You're not getting out of detention! I'll be out of here in ten minutes. Intruder alert! Initiate security protocol! Shit, more of it! See if there's a way to take them all out at once! You lawbreakers make me sick! <laughs> more officers down! We're taking heavy casualties out here! Damn it, you hallway monitors need to stop playing around! He's got the brass key! He's some kind of dragonborn! Now look, this is detention time! Not time to play Dungeons and Dragons! And besides, he's never gonna get inside here because to open the door you need the gold key and the only way to get the gold key is by getting the silver key. Okay, which even if he has the brass key, he still hasn't made it past the boss level. Okay. That's far enough, intruder! Where's your hall pass? No hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. Oh yeah! That's the boss! Good luck fighting the boss, okay? You still think this is a game, young man? Deadly Farth is authorized! Ah! Hey, I'm lucky! Ow! Ah! How dare you! Lawbreaker! Uh. Oh. Yeah. That was close. Counselor Mackey shall hear of this. I'm gonna scare you straight. Uh. Assault. I wasn't worthy of the sash. Yay! Damn you, Crow! Thanks for busting me out, kid. Who are you? 
What's your name? Oh well, I'm heading to Koopa Keep. See you there, I guess. Gentlemen, thanks to the new kid, our entire army is assembled. It is my belief that the new kid deserves to rank up in level. To honor his efforts, he will no longer be called Douchebag. New kid, I hereby dub thee Sir Douchebag. Congratulations. It's time for us to take back that which is rightfully ours. A carrier raven has come with news that the Stick of Truth has not yet been taken to the Elven Forest. It is in the possession of the Bard. <gasps> the Bard? Oh, oh God, not the Bard! The Bard is a level 10 drow elf who can use magic to enchant and destroy his enemies. Are you ready to continue your training? Then make haste to the training grounds. I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy. But being able to cup a spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cup the magic, throw it at your opponent. <laughs> yes, yes! But now let us see how you fare against a real opponent. Hey, hey, Malkinson! Malkinson, could you come help us with something? <laughs> Shh, don't have to touch this, come see. Yes? Uh, hey, Scott, could you um, spar with Douchebag real quick? He's going to try a new move. I'm guys! Now, Douchebag, cup a spell! Dude, that was sweet! You threw that shit right in Scott's face! <laughs> Alright, Scott, go back to your post. Thank you. <laughs> Use it wisely in battle, Douchebag. And never on a man's boss. If the carrier ravens are correct, the bard is hiding out at the inn of the giggling donkey. We must find him before he's able to take the stick back to the oven forest. Let us find the bard and bring him to justice! Make haste to the giggling donkey! Stay close, Sir Douchebag. The inn of the giggling donkey harbors the scum of Alzaron. A glass of meadow wine, please. No meadow wine today, only fairy ale. A pint of fairy ale, then. So, has, uh, anyone seen the bard lately? <coughs> a cup of fairy ale isn't much if not accompanied by some bardic poems and songs. Sure, he's here, all right. He's got a room down in the cellar. Ah, and I shall pay handsomely for his services. Sir Douchebag? Butters, Douchebag, go down and flush him out. Princess Kenny and I will be waiting here to murder him. Remember, the bard can use songs to enchant. Don't let him get to you. You think the bard's really down here? <gasps> oh, Jesus! It's the bard! Prepare for battle, weaklings. Elves, fall in! Douchebag! It's a trap! You should have never come here, you humans. I am a level 10 bard, and with my loot, I shall power up my elven guards with magical songs of enchant. With magical songs of enchant. With magical songs of enchant. Mag magical songs of enchant. Me, me, me. Songs of enchant. Me. There once was a maiden from Stoneberry Hollow. She didn't talk much, but boy, did she swallow. She sat upon the maiden from Stoneberry, who is also your mom. I have a nice lance that she sat upon the maiden from Stoneberry, who is also your mom. Wow, what a butt kicking! Get down there and finish them off! I will protect this stick of truth! Uh, For the elf tag! Uh, uh, someone help! That came from the kitchen! And that! Oh, you want some of this? Ah, uh, 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 
shit! Your word is the command, my lord. Shall I heal the king, my lord? Or maybe let him suffer? Yes, sir! Yeah, there you go, buddy. <coughs> His powers were too strong. The bard, he's up in one of the rooms. <coughs> they took Princess Keeney. They took her upstairs. I'm sure they're gonna rape her. Don't let them rape Princess Keeney. <coughs> the Wizard King is done for. Take out the new kid while I go upstairs and make contact with the King of Elves. You're not getting past us, fucker. <coughs> We should get this in a really mean online review oh. after we're done. Can Use your magic on the front door, douchebag! Somebody deadbolt on the door, you guys! Hey, open the door! No prisoners! <laughs> For the KKK! Protect the bar! Stick his arm! <laughs> 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 Oh. Well, you're good at adventuring. Where's the king? He's over there. He's hurt bad. Good thing my medicine skills are plus four. We'll revive the wizard. You guys get upstairs. We gotta get to the princess. Wait a minute. Let's... He's keeping a prisoner. I can't get through. The door appears to be enchanted, so I can't turn the knob. You can't hold the doorknob, Bard. That's cheating. Yeah, I can. I have the stick of truth, which means I control the universe, and I say holding the doorknob is okay. Ah! Uh, can he do that? He has a stick of truth. He can do what he wants. Damn it! There's got to be another way into this room. Hey, let us up! You're not getting up here. The ladder's up here with me, and I'm sure as shit not coming down there. Oh, look at what we got here. I'm coming for you, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are some big old bitties. Man, oh, man. Good job, Princess Gone Wild. Double D buddy powers. You've nowhere to run, Bard. Give me the stick of truth. Take it from me if you can, Wizard King. Step forward now and fulfill your d-d-d- And fulfill your d-d-d-d- Step forward now and fulfill your d Step forward now and fulfill your d d Your d Your d Step forward now and fulfill your d d Your d Your d Step forward now and fulfill your destiny you are no match for a grand wizard! The stick belongs with us, and I shall use every bardic power in my class to keep it from you! Fine! You wanna throw down, brah? Kick his ass, douchebag! Who is douchebag? That's Sir Douchebag to you, and he's about to teach you some manners, bard! Sleep now, the whippoorwills are dancing. Gently now, put your my mind to rest. Wow, what a terrific target! It's a good day to die, uh, for you, that is. Me! Hot, 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 hot! By the hammer of butters! Hey. The stick is ours! Yay! Yay. The stick of truth is back where it belongs. Great job, men. Douchebag, for your heroic deeds and valiant self-sacrifice at the great battle of the Giggling Donkey, I hereby make you an official member 
of the Kingdom of Koopa Keep. Welcome to the KKK. It's getting late. The Grand Wizard needs to go night-night. Okay, Mom, thanks for pointing out bedtime for everyone. It's a school night, hon. You and your little druid friends need to- We're not druids, Mom! We're fucking warriors and wizards! Oh, that's it. You're going to bed. The rest of you better get home, too. It's late, hon. Your parents will be worried. Well, there he is. You make any new friends, sweetheart? Nothing to say, huh? What a surprise. It's late, sweetie. Go on up to bed and I'll be there to say goodnight. Good night, little man. I hope you're as happy as we are. Everything is going to be better now that we're in this quiet little mountain town. I'm having the dream again. Okay, this is dreamy. Is this your first time getting probed? Yeah, it's a pain, but this is the kind of stuff you put up with living in a remote little mountain town. At least we don't have to deal with traffic. Hey, you broke free! Kid, you have an incredible control of your asshole. Get me loose, too! I'm surrounded by some kind of force field. Go find a way to shut it off. When you break me free, I can show you how to get off the ship. Yep, that's the Lambda containment block. Take that elevator next to you. The probe in your asshole should interface with it. Great, you're in. You're looking for a security console. Should be one above you in probe maintenance and another below you in the atmospheric processor. Yeah, I know this stuff. Can't remember which one you want, though. Been a while since I did this. Hey, that did it! The force field's down! Come on back and we can get out of here! Great, you made it! Okay, use this panel here and we can all go home! Oh, oh, oh you did it! Oh, thanks, kid. I don't know who you are or if you're real, but consider me your friend. Until we meet again!
Yes? At what location? How many people in the town? Get in there and cover it up. This could change everything. Get everyone moving. We've got another UFO crash. A large earthquake and several fires in the South Park area last night woke many residents from their sleep. Here with the report is a midget in a bikini. Tom, government workers here are assuring everyone nothing out of the ordinary has happened. They claim that the only reason huge tents have gone up to cover this area is to mask the construction of a new Taco Bell, which will open sometime later this month. Thanks, midget. I do love me some Taco Bell. The mayor of South Park states that last night's tremors and fires are under control and that hopefully schools and businesses can open again soon. It's horrible. You don't understand. The elves, they took the stick. And it's bullshit because that is totally cheating. We specifically said no trying to take the stick at night. Elves are dirty little liars and we have to lay waste to their entire base. You have some incredible ability to make friends quickly, Sir Douchebag. I'm sending you on a quest to go out into the lands of Zaron and recruit a whole nother faction to Koopa Keep. Find the goth kids and give them this letter. Get them to join our kingdom and we shall lay waste to the drow elves once and for all! Fucking cheaters. I would just come over and see if, well, if you wanted to come play with us again. Who's that? I think it's that new kid people are talking about. Beat it, new kid. This area is strictly for goth kids. What's this? Join the kingdom of Koopa Keep to battle the wicked elves. All recruits welcome. Sorry, Frodo. We don't play Dungeons and Douchebags. Yeah, beat it, new kid. Oh, come on. Let's do it. We never do anything. No way. We can't do what this kid asks us to do. He's a conformist. Look at his clothes and his hair. Yeah, tell you what, new kid. Get the right clothes and some cigarettes and coffee and then talk to us again. Yeah, if you want to prove you aren't a conformist, then you need to look exactly like we do. Then, maybe we'll consider hanging out with you. Welcome to my coffee shop. Thanks for helping Tweak out in the back room. Would you like to try some coffee? You should try some coffee. It gives you that edge you need to stay focused at school. Hey, there he is. New kid. New kid. The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly or you can fight, but I warn you. Fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time, and you might as well skip it and just come with us. There is no way you can win, and fighting us will be a complete waste of time. Are you sure you want to fight? <sighs> okay, let's get this over with. Jesus Christ! Let's see how you like dealing with me. <laughs> You'll pay for that. We tried to warn you it was useless, but you just had to go and try and fight. Let's go. everyone is talking about. What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the Goths for the Wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. 
Then we can ransack Carbon's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all. I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. Don't let Cartman use you. Oh joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah. There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and tape this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it. And don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Good luck in there, douchebag. You're a braver man than I. It isn't right, I tell you. Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time. Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they're working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're gonna see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... what's your name? Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't gonna do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will! Come, Come on, on let's go! Come on! I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your asshole. Fuck the conformists. Why, are they a good lay? Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on! Hi, Cha! See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. <laughs> you see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Go ahead, guys. Oh, Mr. Mackey? Now it's your turn. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. Kia! Very, very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right, now go. Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. We're simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's gonna open in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? Well, is it gonna be a full menu Taco Bell or is this gonna be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? We got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. 
But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have Enchiritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. If this is gonna be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve Enchiritos? I think we have a right to know. Mark? Folks, we know you're all very excited, but for your safety, we ask you stay clear of the construction site. Mark? But so far, we've been unable to stop the UFO from leaking the toxic waste. We've contained all we can, but there are no guarantees an outbreak will not occur. And does the alien liquid appear to have the same effect as last time? I'm afraid so. When the alien waste reacts with organic material on Earth, it turns things into... Nazi zombies. Here we go again. God damn it. I'm so tired of Nazi zombies. It's so overused. If the wrong person gets their hands on that green toxin, it could totally spread and we have a big problem. All right, we're gonna have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. Find locations for the bombs and bury it all. Then make up a fake story about an earthquake. We can contain the outbreak this time if we act quickly enough. Let's move. Everything we've just talked about has been recorded onto this tape. I'm going to leave it alone here for a few minutes, then come back later and have it encrypted and locked away so nobody ever hears what was said in this meeting. Yes, good idea. What the fuck? It's broken free! He needs to have your roof it on! Ah! Hey, stop up! You guys have been great. Come on, new kid. Let's show them what we can do. Hey, I'm lucky. Another victory for the good guys. Man, this secret government base room sure is boring. You think that a secret government base would have more cool stuff in it? Think those guys are new? What if we just make friends instead? What's this? It's a recording. There's data on here. Did they say anything? What kind of Taco Bell is it going to be? When are they going to be finished building it? Shh, shh. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. What? Set charges underground to blow up the area and bury it all. Then make a fake story about an earthquake. They're going to just blow up three blocks? Sons of bitches. You sons of bitches! What gives them the right? I knew there was more to this. It's not a simple Taco Bell we're dealing with. It's the most massive Taco Bell ever built. You see, ever since the whole Doritos Locos Tacos thing, Taco Bell thinks they can do whatever they want. Well, not here. Not in our town. You've done well, new kid. We're not going to let Taco Bell win. I'll take that picture you wanted now of you with the PTA. Nice. I'll send it to you. Whoa, he did it. Nice. Yeah, but he's still not goth. He'll have to pass the final test. You may look goth, Frodo, but can you dance goth? Less enthusiasm. Totally fucking bullshit. Not how you drink coffee. You call that smoking? Cough. I'm feeling the rage. I like what you did with your coffee there. Whoa. Apathy combo. 
What do you think? He's pretty goth. He's pretty goth, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. I felt his pain. All right, new kid, you've officially proven yourself. Yeah, just tell us where you need us and we'll be there. anybody down in the sewers these days. Who's at the door? Is that the guy with my pills? No, it's not anyone with pills for you, darling, okay? I called that motherfucker three hours ago! This is my lovely wife, Autumn. She celebrates Christmas with vodka and muscle relaxers. And here every day is Christmas. Wait, where the fuck are my kids? What do you mean, where are the kids? You're supposed to be watching them out back, Autumn. No! They were being watched by the babysitter! The babysitter quit four months ago when you threw up on her! Don't you fucking yell at me! Don't you excuse us a minute! Don't you ever embarrass me by the screen! You got two girls! You go to them, and you go to them where you can't go! Fuck you, they your kids too, you piece of shit! Go fuck you, I'll fuck you! Howdy ho! Uh, listen, I gotta get my wife some help! <laughs> Could you go look for our children? I sure would make it worth your while. They're Simon, Amber, and Corn Wallace. Tell them their father wants them home right away. My baby! <laughs> Bring me my <that> baby! <laughs> You're a fucking train wreck! Thanks, mister. I wish I had a safe and warm environment in which to thrive, but I don't, so I guess I'll go home. This is like finding a dingleberry in a sewer system. Shoo, you rat bastards! Uh -huh. You made their mama angry! Let's see how you like dealing with me! I know Valish doesn't solve anything, but I kinda like it. Thanks so much, mister. I was afraid those rats were gonna get me, and I was gonna end up a floater. Howdy ho! Thanks for finding my kids. Thank the nice man, Nuggets. Thank you. Anytime you need my help, you just call on me, and I'll be there sure as a shit on Sunday. Except against bosses, of course. I might have shit for brains, but I'm not stupid. And I can't help you more than once per day. Just like I can't help anyone who won't help themselves with rehab. Give it back, give it back. Why don't you make us? That's my Justin Bieber toy. Not anymore, it's not. Aw, did baby lose her toy? Who is this? Feed a kid if you know it's good for you. <laughs> like you caught Santa checking the police database to see who's been naughty. You wouldn't tell on Santa, would you? I hope you haven't been farting on anyone's bowels. That would be very naughty. Ah, you have returned! Come, Sir Douchebag, it is time to summon our forces. Simply call them here and your dedication to Koopa Keep will be complete. Everyone gather about! While the rest of you have been picking your respective arses, 
Sir Douchebag has gone out and brought help to our kingdom. Sir Douchebag, it is time to finally give you a title worthy of your deeds. By the power of Mandaloth, thirdborn of the Red God, and by the glory of Christ, I hereby anoint thee Commander Douchebag, with all the rights and privileges accompanied therein. Eric! Eric! We know where the elves are hiding the stick. What? Really? We just intercepted their messages on Twitter. You mean you shot down their message, Raven? Right, we, we shot down their raven, and the evil elf king is, is hidden a stick inside his desk at school. Of course. Kyle hid it in his desk. Citizens of Koopa Keep, we know where the elves are hiding the stick. I told you they were cheating. Now we shall march on the skew and make the hallways drip with elven blood. Defenders of freedom! I thank you for your courage and your audacities in joining our fight. Tonight, we are no longer the humans or the goths. Tonight, we unite as one. I feel like such a homo sapien right now. The humans are here! Ooh, they blew their horn. Blow ours, butters. Guys, flank left. Goth kids, prepare to attack from behind. They barricaded the entrance. The elves are up to their old Jew tricks again. Find another way in. Take out the barricade from the hand. Ugh. Ow, I hurt my fucking ankle. Man, it hurts like shit. Your word is the command, my lord. Yes, sir. Pat, pat, nice. Now that feels better, doesn't it? Hey, I'm healed. Except for on the inside. We locked it so nobody else could get in. Here. New kid, if you're in the building, you're fighting for a tyrant. But I know there's good in you. Stop fighting for your evil lord. Free yourself from his control. Don't go in there, man. We just got through the back. They just mowed us down like dogs, man. All my friends are dead. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh. Monitors. Help, please. That's Gary Nielsen. Don't touch him, he's ginger. We came to school the morning after the earthquake to report for duty. <coughs> we didn't know school had been canceled. <laughs> we heard a sound from down here. Found this green goo. It, it was everywhere. It changed the other hallway monitors. <coughs> Served you right for being a patsy-ass hallway monitor in the first place. Something in the goo. It... It... Did her pagan offset? Ah! Somehow that green goo makes ginger hallway monitors even lamer! Big head! It's time to try this! You've heard the dark one! Dog shit, douchebag. Son of a bitch. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. When are we gonna catch a break? Uh. I'm telling. Uh. 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 Oh. This isn't over. Good 
Black, douchebag man the catapult and let our guys in the front door. Everyone fall in! Use your magic to open the front door. Wow. <laughs> That's it! Hurry, open the door before they know what's happened! Push forward! I must save my strength for the final battle! This ends here, new kid. Let's see you handle both of us. Got him! Let's see how you like dealing with me! Jew King. The stick doesn't belong with a fat, racist liar! Alright, Cal, you fucking asked for it. Go ahead and kick his ass, douchebag. New Kid? Carmen is using you, can't you see it? He's a manipulator! You're just jealous because the New Kid picked me as a friend over you, Cal! You've got one last chance, New Kid. Turn around and fight Cartman instead. Do the right thing. Don't let him Jew wash your brain, New Kid. Attack him! Now! Make him shut up! It's not me you should be fighting, it's him! So pick a side! Kick his ass, douchebag. I can't believe this is even a choice. You're too good a person to be working for Cartman. Don't listen to them, douchebag. No, you aren't. That's fine. You're gonna be sorry, new kid. Don't you know who you're dealing with? I still don't get how Cartman got you to think he was cool. Wait a minute. Our desks don't have insides. What? Desks at this school just have tabletops. No, but but Twitter said that... Look over here. This desk has writing on it. Check my locker. Whose desk is that? That's... That's Clyde's desk. Greetings, humans and drow elves of Zaron. Clyde! He took the stick! While you've all been busy fighting amongst yourselves, I have built a kingdom beyond your comprehension. I prayed for a way to destroy you all, and the solution came crashing down from the heavens. Oh no, it's more of that green stuff! With what I have found, I shall raise an army of the dead! Clyde, but why? I banished him to be lost in space and time, and now he's all pissed off. So you see, fools, I control the stick and the future of the Earth. Clyde, do you want a sandwich? Not now, Dad. I'm making a Ruler of Darkness video. Whoever controls the stick controls the universe. And my first deed is that I hereby denounce the human and the elf kingdoms and strip both kings of all their power. <laughs> 
Motherfucker! Oh, hello, boys. Can we speak to Clyde, please? Oh, Clyde's out playing in the backyard with his little friends. Get it, losers! <laughs> you can't do that, Clad. You're lost in time and space. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are, asshole. Army of Darkness, defend the fortress. Craig, Craig, you're on my side. You don't have authority anymore. The keeper of the stick said so. This can't be happening. God damn it! I have fucking authority. Sorry, warriors and wizards. I'd love to invite you into my Fortress of Darkness, but I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? What do you mean we're too late? There you are, butters. Do you know what time it is, mister? It is way past your bedtime. Oh, shit, it's past our bedtime? Dude, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> Clyde, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> okay, coming, Dad. <laughs> Hello, hello. You missed the news. Looks like we're gonna have the country's largest Taco Bell in our new town. Mommy and Daddy spied on your Facebook page and saw that you're making lots of friends. Why don't you tell us about them? No? Okay, well it's late, sweetie. Head on up to bed and I'll be there to tuck you in. Good night, my little gumdrop. Hope you're enjoying all the peace and quiet in our new home as much as we are. like we should tell him the truth. Why? So we can relive it all in his head? It's better that he can't remember. But if he really has this gift, he, he's going to discover it again on his own anyway. And then they'll try and use him for his gift and he'll become a weapon. They won't stop looking for him. We have to keep everything secret, even from him. I'm so frazzled. Will you just make love to me? Of course I will, darling. <sighs> <sighs> Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, you win! Take this! Take it! You can grow smaller, big, whenever you feel like it! All we wanted was to collect underpants to stop the Taco Bell from releasing its toxic green goo into our underground world! You see, the green goo is actually a- Hey, there's an emergency meeting at the Elven Forest. Ah, Commander Douchebag has decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and Elves of Zaron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over four stories tall. 
So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? So, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. <laughs> you guys, this is serious! Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so... Our only hope is for our two factions to join forces. Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard fat ass? After what you elves did us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter that that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're apologizing now. How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces, my paladin ass. Only good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you t t suck my elven dick, butters? Enough! Whether we are human or elfins are gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw what that green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The pirates, the Federation, and the girls. The girls? Kyle, the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. He is really good at getting Facebook friends. I'll give him that. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war. Huzzah! We're all in this together now. If you need me to fight next to you, I will. If you just need a human shield, there's always Cartman. Did you get the girls to agree? Speak with one of the kings. What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle. Sunshine! Sunshine, sparkle. Millie Larson has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes! Yeah, right, right, away, right, away. right away! Excuse me, I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle. Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and sparkles, a messenger comes with a request from the boys. Yes! Yeah. 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 What request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he could help. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure, but we think the girl spreading the rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're gonna send Monica a Facebook page with your picture, then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood, and you wanna meet her and ask her what the best thing to get Bebe for her birthday would be, and see if Monica tries to hit on you at all, because that way, we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Whatever they ask you to do, remember we need their help. If shit goes down, I'll come running. Oh, hi. You must be Mike. So, you want to talk about Bebe, huh? Well, look, Bebe's my friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end-all, be-all of girls. I mean, she's a little two-faced, if you ask me. But, hey, I read a lot of your Facebook profile, and I think you're a really interesting boy. Aha! We knew it! You two-faced manipulative whore! What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah! Now we know you're a two-faced bitch! What do you mean? You guys are my best friends! Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Uh-oh. Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced skank. Guys, wait, please, come back! What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand that. That could have sucked a 
a lot worse. The girls want to thank you for your help. We can go see them again whenever you're ready. All right then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, we want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. She really made us mad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. Right, so we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. But in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. Makeover! Makeover! as ready as you'll ever be, I guess. Let's get to the clinic. All right, new kid, get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us find out who the two-faced bitch is. I'm sure you can appreciate why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. Hi, hi, guys. hi. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. Hey, Jessie. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Skank. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Nice look, dude. Hi, here for an abortion? It's okay, don't be scared. The first one's always the scariest. Take room A, second door to your left. I'm sorry. Your little friend will have to wait out here. All you do, I'll be right here. Access granted. Thank you, Doctor. Ah! Ah, damn it! Oh, it's you! Thank God! Something strange is going on here. The PTA reviewed that tape you got us. The Taco Bell has something called a Plan B. They've been here looking through these records, but why would they be interested in the gynecological files of the women of South Park? I'm afraid now you know too much. We have two more asking a lot of questions. Deal with them quietly. We can't let anyone find out what we were doing there. Before you kill us, tell us why. Why is Taco Bell taking the records of women's vaginas in South Park? I'm picking up some hot readings on the Peggy. Tell us, what do women's vaginas and Doritos Locos Tacos have in common? Peggy is going crazy. Oh shit! There's an outbreak here! We have contamination in Sector 7! All units to Sector 7 now! Secure the entire building! Put that woman in restraints! Ah! What's going on? At Taco Bell security. Your clinic is infected with a Nazi zombie virus. Nazi zombies? That's ridiculous! And bigoted! I happen to be German! One of them! Ah! Tell people what you saw here today. Let's go, quarantine the place. There's something crawling under the floor, sir! I'm just here for an operation. <laughs> oh, there you are, doctor. I'm ready when you are. Is this going to hurt, doctor? Teehee. There's something fishy going on here. I think they might be Nazi zombies. We'll see if you're a real doctor. 
Give her an abortion. Do it! What the hell? Oh shit, clear the building! The area's been compromised! Get out now! Ah, uh, you go ahead. Might be a while before I can walk very well. What the hell is that? Mathers, where did you find the alien goo? Broken vials were in the trash can, sir. What could have come into contact with it in the trash can of an abortion clinic? Oh my god. Sucking blood? They're everywhere! What are they? Man, those little babies are pissed off. That's it! That's it! The area is secure! Code green! It's not secure! Tell all units the outbreak has been contained! It's not contained! What the hell are you talking about? It's not contained! You, you don't understand! Chloe Kardashian was in here this morning! She had the biggest abortion I've ever seen! <laughs> again whenever you're ready. All right then, let's go. You know the drill. New kid, the girls are very thankful for you texting us the abortion records. We are one step away from finding out which girl among us is a two-faced bitch. Unfortunately, the record keeper at the abortion clinic is from Paris and so everything is written in French. Whoever this two-faced skank is thinks she can outsmart us. We want to help you and the boys play your game, but we just can't have a two-faced bitch out there on the loose. Just get these documents translated for us and we promise we will join your army. Sparkle! Sunshine! What's this? Council, gather round! This must be something the new kid needs our help with! Sank femmes ont sabi un envoltement... What language is that? It's some kind of strange orcish. I've seen this language before. In the kingdom to the north. Oh, the kingdom to the north? Whatever's written on these documents is somehow the key to us recruiting the girls to our army. Is, is that what you're trying to tell us, new kid? Come on, sp spit it out. Getting that document translated isn't going to be easy. To breach the kingdom to the north, you'll have to assume another identity. Your name is no longer Commander Douchebag. It is now Larry Bobinski from Cleveland. The quickest way to the kingdom to the north is through the Lost Forest. Head north, then north again, north, and, and then north. You better get a real passport photo first or you won't make it past border control. Why hasn't the PTA done something about these zombies? Hi, here to get your passport photo taken? Just head into the room there and we'll get started. Step between the lights, please. That's great. Okay, smile. Oh, do you have anything else you could wear? Could you try something else on? Uh, no. Tell you what, how about just no shirt at all? Let's try that.
Nope, with this light, we're just gonna need you to lose that shirt. I'm just not feeling that shirt. Yeah, that's gonna work better. Here we go. Oh, those pants don't work with the lighting. Could you roll up your pants or, you know what, just take, take the pants off too. Those pants just aren't working for me. If you want a passport, you're gonna have to lose the pants, pal. Okay, that's good, really nice. Yes, very nice. How about we lose the underwear? You sick son of a bitch! Stop him! You'll never take me alive! Wow, good job, kid. You're quite the fighter. All right, let's get this over with. Say cheese. Congrats, kid. You have your first passport. No, you see? No matter which way you go, I block you. Ah, I see you have a passport. All right, hand it over. Papers appear to be in order. Very well. I hereby grant thee access to the great nation of Canada. Open the gate! Oh, I'll do it. Hold on. There we go. You're not from around here, are you? All hail the Prince and Princess of Canada! Hail. Well, well, what have we here? A hero from the South? Not just anyone can pass the guard at the Great Border. You must have beaten the odds and obtained a passport. I am the Prince of Canada, and this is my lovely wife. How can I help you? What's this? Hmm. Sorry, but I don't know what this says. I've seen this language before, but I believe it's only spoken in a specific part of Canada. I suggest you travel west of here and seek out the Earl of Winnipeg. He can tell you where in Canada they speak this freakish tongue. But I warn you, the wilderness of Canada is filled with dire wolves. You know what dire wolves are, right? They're like wolves, but they're dire. Ah yes, this writing is definitely Canadian. But why should I help a foreigner when Winnipeg is completely overrun with dire bears? Tell you what, Kill off all the dire bears in the north of town, and I'll help you however I can! Glad you gotta fight dire bears and not me. I've killed way bigger guys than you. Well, the new kid has. Job, you've done it! Look at all these diabare pelts! Now I can finally make a diarobe! Alright, give me that document! Mm, yes. This is actually written in the language of Eastern Canadian! The Minister of Montreal can translate it! But I'm afraid the Prince has imprisoned the Minister of Montreal in the caverns of Quebec! I will speak with the Prince! Return to him and he should let you speak with the Minister! Boy, oh boy! I will have the most diarobe in all of Canada! There you are! I understand you wish me to release the Minister of Montreal! I'd like to help you, but I think this might be another ploy by the Bishop of Banff to have Montreal allowed back into the kingdom. Some Canadians think our nation should be united again, my lord. Shut up! Who the fuck are you? Listen, it's all because the Bishop of Banff is a liberal. He does these things just to make life difficult for me. I must ask you to perform another noble quest. Go to Banff and kill the Bishop. <gasps> kill the Bishop of Banff? Shh, you, shh. Kill the Bishop of Banff for me and bring me his balls as proof. Do this, and I shall allow you into the catacombs of Quebec. Make haste!
The prince thinks Canada is a monarchy. What's this? Who the fuck hits a bishop? Assassin! He knows not what he does. Under! <laughs> Love thy neighbor! Remember the golden rule! By the hammer of British! Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Please! You don't have to kill me. I'll go away and the prince will never know I'm alive. Please, take these dire pig testicles and tell the prince they're mine. Bless you, my son. It'll be our secret. Wow, good thing I saved these. <laughs> Poor dire pig. Praise Christ. Praise God. Praise God and Christ. Is he dead? Did you kill him? Yay, the bishop's vase. Now religion won't interfere with government. How can we ever repay you? You said you would free the minister of Montreal, my lord. Sorry, no can do. With both the bishop and the minister taken care of, my throne is secure. But my liege, we made a promise. Shh, you. Shh. Quickly, you must speak with the Duke of Vancouver. He can help you get into the catacombs of Quebec. Give the Duke this. Hurry now. Yes, yes, I know. A letter from the princess? What the? Why, according to this, the prince had something to do with the bishop's murder and has imprisoned the minister unjustly. Young man, if you wish to brave the catacombs of Quebec, you would have to speak with the monks who live to the southeast of town. Only they could train you in such sorcery. Who are you? Perhaps he is the American everyone is talking about, Tance. Nah, it can't be. He can't be a master of spellcraft. He doesn't even know magic. He probably doesn't even know how to fart. <coughs> the sneaky squeaker. Very impressive. He is worthy of our training after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. Your magic is impressive, young American. Not since Eric von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. But now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki! Now you try! Believe in yourself! These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Nagasaki! <laughs> That's it! You have the power! You did it! Now go out and use your anus for the good of mankind! And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls. Je suis libre! Je suis libre! Oh. N'avez-vous besoin de collections traduites? Ok. C'est la scène traduite par celle-là. C'est la scène traduite par celle-là. Voilà! Bonjour! Merci beaucoup! Ready to go back? The girls are ready to see you. See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom! So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch! The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore! Two-faced butt rag! Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass! But Heidi's really sorry, so we're deciding to forgive her. 
I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi. Yay! 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 You served us well, new kid. So you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle! Sunshine! to fight by our side! Huzzah! The pirates and the Federation factions are standing by to fight as well, my lord. Then the time for talk is over. Let us all make haste to Clatan! Today, we are not elves and humans. Today, we fight as one! What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. Yeah! Let us besiege the army of darkness with the courage of dragons. Let us delve their dungeon with swords and sorcery. Let us charge our shields and use photon torpedoes to vaporize the Klingons. Kevin, god damn it. Every fucking time, Kevin. God fucking damn it, seriously. I'm sorry. Armies of justice, prepare! Ready! And let's be the plan! Chief Assassin, and you will all perish here and now. <laughs> that one said like Now let's see how you fare against the Dark Lord, Chief Assassin, and some cows. Well, here we go again. what they were doing at the women's clinic. They were looking for a candidate to put a snook into. They're gonna nuke all of South Park. A snook? You boys don't understand. They've put the snook here. Who did? Whoever these people are claiming to be Taco Bell. We should have known. We should have known Taco Bell is far too compassionate and caring to be so secretive. The quality of their character, like the quality of their food, should have never come into question. Dad, where is the woman with the snook? They didn't put it in a woman. Well, all I remember was that there were these big government guys, and 
they wrestled me to the floor at my house. And then I remember thinking, well, this is fun, but wait, is that a thermonuclear device? I had some drinks, so putting a thermonuclear device up my ass wasn't completely out of the question. Oh, Jesus Christ, how long do I have? We don't know, Mr. Slave, but it could be a matter of minutes. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out! No! We can't just pull it out! Snooks have triggers on them! We have to abort it! From inside! Oh, come on, who knows how to do abortions and can get really, really small? Hmm, who? Who could possibly be able to make themselves tiny and know something about abortions? Uh, hmm, let's see. Who could there be? Hmm. Uh, who could there be? Let me think. It seems like it'd be easy to find someone who could get small or could perform abortions, but both? It's like the answer's right in front of us, staring us in the face. Oh, look! He's all small! Wow, this kid is just full of surprises. Quick, get up there and disarm the snook. Hurry! Oh, be careful. I might have also put some bats up there the other night. Oh, man. It stinks like... What's that smell? Is it me? New kid, you must find a way out of this place or you will surely die. The way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then. A great adventure is waiting for you ahead. Let's Journey skip, onward, skip, new kid, or you will soon be dead. The road ahead is full of danger and fright. But... Ooh, Jesus. Hello? Hello? Slave honey? You better not be tied up somewhere, you silly goose. Huh. Where is he? I am the Sparrow Prince. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. Uh, are you gonna raise us? Of a gay man's ass, the road ahead. Is filled with danger and fright. If I push on, will any wings with all of you? Your Irish hope! Delight the way. This my anger is greater now. Hi, ha! Hi, ya! Well done, new no kid. You have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. You may journey forth. Find the Snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee, Matt, and fare thee well. <sighs> I didn't join the company for this. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? Go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. Go up a gay man's butthole and guard against intruders. Fucking sucks. Armed guards? What are they doing here? Whoever seeks to blow up the city clearly doesn't want anyone stopping them. You must get past them, new kid. Go fuck them up. Hey! Let's see how you like dealing with me! Taking fire! Ah! I'm hit! Ah! 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 see a light. It's beautiful. Stomach dark, neath the cold depths of the London heart. Hello, new kid. I am Katata Fish. Katata Fish of the stomach's core. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. Katata Fish riddle will soon be told. There are only moments to spare. Find a way to disengage the trigger, or all will be lost. This calls for a little bardic acting. Oh, 
Snook abortion sequence initiated. Begin Christmas electrolytic infusion. Once a year. Every critter holds it. Ah. Dear. Every animal big or cold. Small. So cold. Christmas means danger. So much abortion to access all. slit stress it's level. Christ abortion year. access slit dilated. Life. Initiate control chip Every removal. Wrong chip, wrong chip, ow. Not that, I needed that. Wrong chip, self-destruction sequence aborted. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Slate? What are you feeling? <laughs> Jesus! Jesus Christ! Great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Yes, but should we ever need your services again, we will call. <laughs> Great job. You've disarmed the snook. South Park is saved. Yes, now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clyde once and for all and take back the stick of truth. Fools, you thought you could conquer the Fortress of Darkness. Clyde, back away from that stuff. Oh, but I have yet to complete my army. You have come to witness the power of darkness. Stop! Clyde! You have no idea what that stuff is! Yeah, huh, it's green sauce from Taco Bell. I took it from their construction site. Dude, that's not Taco Bell sauce. Then why'd I find it at the Taco Bell? It leaked out of a UFO, Clyde! It's toxic goo from another galaxy! Think about it! Since when does Taco Bell have a green sauce, dude? Actually, since about a year ago. What? Taco Bell has green sauce now. No way! They've had it longer than a year. I've always gotten spicy green burritos. Yeah, no, I'm saying in the packets. They just started putting green sauce in packets. The fuck? How the fuck did I miss this? Ha ha! I don't seem so foolish now, do I? That doesn't mean you have Taco Bell green sauce, dip fuck! Yeah, Clyde, why do you think that shit's glowing? Maybe because of the three varieties of chili peppers. Just give us a stick, asshole. Or what? You'll beat me up? Ha <laughs> ha! I've got another surprise for you. I'm gonna make love to you, woman! Ah! Big hands! Get him, Commander Douchebag! This all make sweet love. Ah! Hell! Oh, the mm. Come on, new kid, let's show them what we can do! After that! It's time to fry this! Let's see how you like dealing with me! Ow! You wanna throw down, Doug? I'll throw down. Children, what have I done? <laughs> Black can't even control his own Nazi zombie. Son of a bitch, dumb dumb, schlong, you asshole, pig face, bajana, fuck, dribbled sack, penises, shady bonus, bull crap, fuck you. Asshole. Asshole. Hey, I raised you from the dead, you have to obey. Obey me. In high ha 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 Give up! The stick gives me invincibility! I'm not going to improve! For all the cool! It's time to fry it! Children, everybody, I'm back! Enough of this! <laughs> Burn them! Burn them all! Your eons of torment are at an end, ruler of darkness. Um, okay, um, you know what, I'm not playing anymore. You have broken the rules of the stick, and for that I banish thee. I banish thee from space and time! Ah! <laughs> we did it, dude! 
Dude, that was awesome. You did it. Your noble quest is at an end. And for all your deeds and all your time put into this, I hereby promote you to King Douchebag. Congratulations. Quickly, now let's get the stick back to safety before anyone can do... We've got him! We've got the Dragonborn! Dragonborn? What the... Who, what? So, it really is the Dragonborn. Just can't stop being a thorn in our side, huh? He has to stick a truth. How does this guy know you, King Douchebag? King Douchebag? Is that what you told him your name was? Why didn't you tell them your real name, Dovahkiin? You don't remember, do you? How we tried to find you? Look, that stick belongs with the Fighters of Zaron. Give it back. Fighters of Zaron? Boys, what's going on here is much more complex than that. This isn't the first time a UFO has crashed to Earth. You see, in 1947, a UFO crashed in Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, God. Oh, brother, spare us. Hang on a sec. A UFO crashed in Roswell, and a new government agency was created to investigate the paranormal. Our agency. Can we skip this? Like, hit the skip button or something? Oh, you don't want to skip this. Yes, we do. Whenever aliens are spotted, vampires run amok, our agency is there, and we have never lost a fight. That is, until four years ago when we investigated a child. Yawn, yawn, yawn. A child who had an unnatural power inside him. I had orders from the president to secure the child so that we could harness his powers before our enemies could. But he slipped through our hands. The government wants the new kid for his farts? That's dumb. His farts? No. His amazing ability to make friends so quickly on any social network. Before he was five years old, he had 3.2 billion friends on Facebook alone. Do you have any idea the power that kind of gift yields in today's world? It's time to come with us, Dovahkiin. Time to stop resisting and use your gift for your country. Is he really still talking? Are we so different, you and I, Dovahkiin? Uh. You have to do what the government tells you to do, just like me. We're all just pawns in their game. I'll admit you are fascinating. You have more power than any child I've ever come across, and yet all you seem to really care about is this. It must be very important. What does it do? Whoever controls the stick controls the universe, dumbass. Yeah, stupid. Controls the... But then... I wouldn't have to do what I was told anymore. I could... <laughs> I control the universe! Get back! Back, I say, all of you! I can do anything, anything I want! <laughs> I no longer need you, new kid! I control the universe! Ah! 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 Damn thing! How does it work? Show me how it works! Yeah, right. Dovahkiin, why should we be on the opposite sides? Join me, Dovahkiin. Rule by my side. Rule. And you can have this all to yourself forever. I can offer you all! Just get me safely out of here! You can rule with this once again! You underestimated the character of the Fighters of Zaron. What binds us is more than that relic. And you failed to recognize the character of our Alliance. Yes, and that friendship is more important to any of us than even the Stick of Truth. Dude, where are you going? <laughs> Princess Kenny! At least one of you has some sense. You'd sell us all out? But why, Princess Kenny? Because Princess Kinney was born a half-orc, whose entire village was wiped out by humans and elves. Morgan Freeman? You see, when humans and elves lived together in the forest of Hollow Falls, an elven queen fell in love with the orc known as Dandar, the first one to possess the Stick of Truth. They loved in secret and had a child. A beautiful little girl, a girl who watched as everyone she loved was killed in cold blood. And that is why she waited, and plotted, all this time, to take the stick from you. For Princess Kinney is true heir to the Stick of Truth. Wow, that's pretty cute. Just one thing, Morgan Freeman. How come every time something convoluted needs explaining, you show up? Because every time I show up and explain something, I earn a freckle. 
we're back to normal. That's right, son. The Dragonborn must have farted on a princess's balls. You guys sure about this? There's no other way. It drove our friend to madness and nearly killed us all. So what do you guys want to play now? How about dinosaur hunters? Or pharaohs and mummies? Let's ask Douchebag. What do you want to play next, dude? Screw you guys. I'm going home. Wow, what a dick. What has become of this city? There used to be laws, justice, not anymore. Crime is out of control, cats are missing, and townspeople are being victimized. Oh, hey, who pooped on my porch? What's going on with you? Whoa, whoa! We were supposed to protect those who couldn't protect themselves. Get off my car, you little pecker! Now superheroes are torn apart by political differences. We are two sides at war. But war isn't going to save our city. Time travel is my only hope now. Myths tell of ancient times. When a new king united a kingdom torn apart by a powerful stick. Hi, hon. Shut up, man. There's no time to waste. I have to go back, change the present if I can, and find this cat. And in doing so, perhaps I can change what has happened to all of us. so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> yeah. My lord! The filthy Moorish are attempting to overtake Koopa Keep! You gotta come back, my liege! You're our only hope! My lord, come on, dude! What, you just moved to town and you get to be king? Ugh. Ah! <laughs> Oh my god, 
he defeated the dragon. No freaking way. That kid's amazing. Well, King Goosebag is such a skillful warrior. Did you see how he moved that ladder and used it to climb up? He truly is the most powerful king in all the realm. Speak, Bard. What happened to the stick of truth? The wizard had it thrown into the ocean. Lies. You shall feel the wrath of the Moorish. Unhand him, you heathens. Release the bard or you'll have the king to deal with. The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right. And if you don't... Uh, wait, wait, whoa. Where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. <laughs> Wizard is gone. My name is the Coon. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point. In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That, that sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the $100 reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Oopsikins! There's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert! Come on, Coon friends! Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair! In the future, Coon and friends assemble! Sorry, guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now, and you guys are dorks. Waitresses know anything. That's not enough, Mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. A hundred dollar reward. Do you know what that could mean to our superhero franchise? That cat looks pretty old. Maybe it just died in the gutter somewhere. Human Kite, do I have to remind you that as of right now, Freedom Pals have a hundred followers on Instagram? We have six. The five of us and Billy Turner, who's a ginger. This is the key to finally beating those fuckers. But where do we start looking? That cat could be anyway. We need to split up. Mosquito. Take to the air and check out all the city parks. You got it. Mosquito away. Human kite, see if the cat is stuck up a tree somewhere. You've got the storm drain, Super Craig. Super Craig. Fast pass, I need you to use your superhuman speed to get to the mayor's office and tell her we're on the case. Don't worry, Coon. You can count on fast pace to get there. Fast. Excuse me. Super Craig. Super Craig, this is Coon. Do you copy? Super Craig, the fuck are you? I repeat, the fuck are you, Super Craig? Oh, great. Now the security system isn't working? Dude, what the fuck? Ordinary citizens aren't allowed in the Coon lair. We're playing superheroes now, and you aren't a superhero, new kid, so fuck off, okay? All right, look, you can watch us play superheroes as long as you don't get in the way. Make yourself useful. Go grab me the Stephernacy device. It's over there. Well, that took long enough. Stephernacy device active. You really want to be a superhero, huh? Play with the big boys? <sighs> well, maybe. Maybe you can be useful. Have a seat at the table, douchebag. Let's see, mosquitoes, ABLs. Jesus Christ, are these even in a human language? All right, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable. Let's see. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night, like so many other nights. You couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them. So for the first time, you called upon your speedster powers. As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space-time itself to spring into action. 
Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. Hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you became empowered to use two attacks in the same turn. First, you gave the second intruder a taste of your atoms. Get my atoms! With... Kid's too speedy. Let's get out of here! With the intruders soundly defeated, you thought you were safe until a third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders command! Ah! <laughs> I just flushed one little shit. Here's one more. Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage! Exhausted from your double-edged charge, you could only watch as he continued to pummel you. Can't run away from this! <laughs> Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability, Hyperspace Fury! <laughs> nice! He was just too speedy. And so you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late, because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow, that's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? Alright, now that you're a superhero, I have a mission for you. I need you to go out into town, and try to get as many followers as you can on Coonstagram. It's the only way our franchise will survive. Act. Who would do such a thing? It's just so mean. Hey, kid, you know anything about this? Somebody's keying my wife's car at night. It's happening every night. I thought it was just one of you damn kids, but we'll... Here, come here, take a look at this. Whoever's scratching the car is also leaving notes. I'm just scared it's a jilted lover or something. You won't forget me that easy. I thought we had something. I'll tell the world about you, bitch. Listen, I'm sick of having to buff this shit out. If you can catch whoever's keying my wife's car tonight, I'll follow you on Coonstagram. Trust me, you want me as a follower. I'm a pretty big deal in this town. Ah, I see you've made it to the Palace of the Clouds. That's home base to human kite. Perhaps you can find him inside. Who the hell are you? Really? You sent a newbie to my distress call? You're such a dick, Coon. Sorry, kid, but my problem is too big for a rookie. A few days ago, there was an anomaly in the universe. Another version of me, the human kite from an alternate dimension, showed up here and is destroying everything. Right now, it's upstairs in my room. I don't think anything can stop it. Human kite from another universe is behind this door. I can't fight him for obvious reasons, you know, alternative universe paradox shit. So you are going to have to take him out. You've got to really kick his ass, dude, so that he wants to return back to his universe on the East Coast. You ready? All right, go get him. Oh, hey, Kyle. I'm big. Who's your friend? Did he come to play with us? All right, me from another universe. It is time for you to go back to your universe. What do you mean, Kyle? We're a team, remember? I'm not from another universe. We're like best super pals. <laughs> As you can see, he is the one running around giving the human kite a bad name. He was sent here to destroy me and weaken my powers. No, no, I came to spend two weeks with my cousin and wanted to play superheroes. And then he said, okay, what superhero do you want to be? And I said, I want to be Human Kite. But he said, you can't be Human Kite. I'm Human Kite. And I said, well, why can't we be Human Kites together? So I went to Aunt Sheila and I said, I want to be Human Kites together. And she told him he had to do what I said because I was the guest. Remember? I'm sorry, me from another universe, but it is time for you to learn that playing superheroes is too painful. New Kid, you must now destroy my alter ego. Oh, Jesus, we're gonna fight? That's right. If you really want to play, then this is how you do it. 
Well, all right. Anything to make me and my cousin more alike. Prepare for battle, weakling. <laughs> I haven't done a whole lot of sparring. Is this a no contact thing? Full contact, not sparring. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. I didn't bring my pads. <laughs> Get him, new kid. Cousin Kyle, we can beat him if we join forces. Yeah, I really want to, but parallel universe can say I can't. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh my, there's a lot of decisions in this game, aren't there? You cannot play. That's a decision you could make. Oh, don't be silly. Cousin Kyle, I called the timeout and he didn't listen. You know my asthma flares up when I exert myself. Yeah, I think this would be a lot more fair if I had a shield. Some kind of shield, like a like the Safer Tura, which also has a great sentimental value. Dude, human kite is an alien. There's no Jewish stuff involved. And you can't just make up powers in the middle of a battle. I'm not making it up. It's totally canon in my alternate universe. this turn instead of the new kid because he didn't wait when I said time out earlier, so I think it should be my turn now. Are you kidding me? That's totally cheating. Oh, jeez, I didn't think I'd actually hit you. <laughs> oh, darn it. All right, here we go, my super ultimate power. Get ready. Are you ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay, Wrath Kite from an alternate universe. Jesus, I think I might have ruptured my hernia. You had enough? Alternate me? Yeah, the superhero stuff really hurts. I better go back to my universe. Oh, you're leaving? Dude, that sucks. Yeah, I'll be going back to my universe now, human kite. I need some camphophonique for my ear because I got a scrape on it for being farted on. Dude, I don't know how to thank you. From now on, call on me whenever you need help. Look out, butt lord. Those are sixth graders. They're the most vile, evil beings known to superheroes. You guys are stupid. Sixth graders are way too powerful for you, rookie. Just keep walking. Don't even look at them. Hey, look at the stupid little four feet. You... Greetings, citizen. It is I, Super Craig. I'm sorry, but I cannot assist anyone with their problems right now. Super Craig can't find his guinea pig. Go tell the coon that I'm not playing until I find Stripe. He's not just a normal guinea pig. He belongs to me and my ex-boyfriend. That's right, Super Craig is gay. I'll bet Stripe is down in the basement again. We should start at the basement. That's the last place I saw him. I'm thinking maybe he smelled the dog food downstairs. Super Yes, Stripe, a brilliant rescue, but it wasn't just me. We have Butt Lord and his sickening asshole to thank. You did it, newbie. If you ever need help, you can count on Super Craig. Hey there, are you one of Craig's friends? You looking for Craig? Me? Let's just say I'm an art collector specializing in a delightfully modern and extremely confusing Asian art form known as Yaoi. Crazy, right? But this stuff is worth a fortune to the right buyer. If in your adventures you find any of these, bring them to me. I will reward you handsomely. Not bad, new kid, not bad. Way to go out and get some followers on Instagram. I think you're ready for the next level. Head back to the coon layer. Coon? You try and cross lava, you die. Don't even touch it. Wait, this, this doesn't even make sense. Who would put lava there? <laughs> Take that, Coon Fred. Professor Chaos. That's right, Coon. I have strategically placed lava throughout the town. I can't make it too easy for you. What good is the world without a little chaos? <laughs> okay, turn it off now. We'll deal with chaos when the time is right. For now, we have to keep our eye on the prize. Coon, out. There you are, butthole. Being a superhero is a little harder than you thought, huh? 
It's okay. You totally suck, but I can't help but feel sorry for you because your dad fucked your mom when you were a child. Come this way. I'm gonna teach you about artifacts. You see, most superheroes augment their abilities with specialized equipment. You see this? It's a strength artifact. You'll find things like these all over town. The trick is to equip them into your artifact slots. Go on. Give it a shot. Find more artifacts out there during your superhero adventures. You can even craft your own. Just remember, with great power comes great chicks and money. I think you're ready to take on those sixth graders now. Go give them hell. But look. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Just throw a rock at it. No, I get to throw a rock at it. Just throw a firecracker. Are we really going to take on the sixth graders? No mercy, guys. Sure, invite all the forty friends you want to this ass kicking. More ass for me. That's going to leave some scars. Yeah, I saw that coming. Have your boyfriend massage that for you. It's my turn now. Fill her up. For Craig. Stupid Craig? I said fuck you. This one doesn't do any damage at all. But it gives me a shield that enrages my- Oh, that was a blow to the ego. Another enemy? Grounded. I can get away with that, right? Megasus Hunteru. Good aggression, good aggression. I choose you. That sucks for you, new kid. Boom. I felt that from over here, dude. Okay, that was pretty badass. We make a good team. See ya, man. Oh, bad, that was sweet. Wait till it gets on the internet about how the coon and friends beat up four sixth graders. This is great for our franchise. Kind of sucks for you, though, new kid, because now the sixth graders are going to be coming after you. You probably should have done that. That was pretty stupid. Okay, now go and get our franchise more followers. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. You didn't fill out your kryptonite. So, what, you're invincible? There's no way. That's against the rules. You have to have a weakness. Go find Mosquito. He can help you out. I'll put the rest of the character sheet stuff on your map. That's Raisins, new kid. Mosquito must be inside. Get in there, but do not be tempted by their amazing wings and hot bitches. Hi, welcome to Raisins. Just one of you today. Well, come right over here, cutie. Raisins girls will be right with you. Isn't he just the cutest thing? He sure can eat a lot of wings. <laughs> yeah, so, so then I flew into the sky and I beat up all the bad guys. Wow, I didn't know mosquitoes could be so tough. Yeah, well, ever heard of the Zika virus? Another plate of wings, cutie? Sure, just put them on my tab. Big spender. Hey, beat it, kid. These are my women. What superhero are you? Super, wait. Oh my god, the mission. My fellow superheroes. I've completely forgotten. Back away, temptresses. Mosquito knows what you were trying to do. Uh, what are you talking about, kid? Raisins girls are mosquitoes kryptonite. You gotta get me out of here. Uh, well, okay then. Here's your bill. <laughs> I think not. You tried to charm me. I will not pay this bill. You have to leave a tip, asswipe. They aren't going to let us go without a fight, kid. Let's do this. <laughs> Remember when I said you were the coolest guys in Raisins? Well, I lied. Order up, kitties. <laughs> Congrats, Super Prince! Hey, cuties! I hope you're having a good time! Actually, I don't care. <laughs> have you tried our double whammy wings? He used to have a costume just like that, except it was more about baby ah. doll. Impressive who's someone who can't break the laws of physics. Crash <laughs> Ow! I guess the guy's gotta eat! Mega Pump Punch! <laughs> Your punches make the blood pool nicely under their skin, Super Craig! Prime for drinking! Well, dude. I'm gonna show you how we put the double whammy in our double whammy wings. Nice work, now excuse me while I... I wanted to order a lemonade, but I guess it's too late. Come on, this is our chance! Huh, those witches are my kryptonite, and you must have saved me just in time. I'm forever in your debt, but, hero, what is your kryptonite? Dude, you can't be a superhero without something that you're powerless against. Any particular phobas? Any emotional hang-ups? I mean, come on, there's gotta be something. Look, it's okay, I'm on your team, but kid. You can tell me. 
All right, all right. Let me see your character sheet. Raisins, girls. Those wanted temptresses. No argument from me. Great. Job done. Your kryptonite is officially noted. Even though Mosquito must be off. Call on me if you should need me, coon friend. Well, hello, new child. I haven't seen you before. But you come at a crucial time. South Park is sliding into moral decline. Someone's stealing our cats. They're pee-peeing houses. Okay, maybe it's not full on Armageddon yet, but we do need a hero. Not to make the heart sell, but do you see yourself as a good person? Well, I can understand the confusion, but there comes a time when we need to choose our path. Will you find Jesus and take the righteous path? Or maybe you'll walk the middle way. Let's not talk about the third alternative. I'm hoping you're part of the solution, not the problem. Take the first step, my child, by entering this meditative chamber, which will allow you to confront your deepest fears. Face your fears, new child. Face your fears. Your dad fucked your mom. You afraid of the dark? Snakes? The color blue? Ooh. Oh, hey! I'm in your imagination. Just a friendly Catholic priest who would like to get to know you a little better. Yeah, that's right. I'm totally in your imagination, too. About to give you a shoulder rub. Ever imagine you'd feel something like this? Let me adjust the lighting in here a bit so we can get some visuals with that. Well, I guess this one likes it rough. Hmm. Oh, I guess you want to do it the hard way. God's grace is totally filling me. What the devil vanished into thin air? Whoa, that priest likes kids a whole lot. You don't want to get caught in his hook. You might really need a towel then. you bastards showing up. Well, you're definitely going to hell now. Get out of here! That's not what the Queen Spider says. I'll go say 10 mil Harry's. Well, gosh, I feel just awful about all that. Tell you what, a rabbi friend gave me this macaroni picture. In times of trouble and tribulation, use it to call upon the prophet Moses. Good luck on your spiritual journey, my child. Hey, butthole, you're doing great. Really quality character sheet stuff happening here. I've got a super secret mission for you. Head over to the new taco shop on Main Street and buy me a taco. Coon out. Welcome to Freeman's Tacos. If there's anything I can interest you in, well, you just let me know. Freeman's Tacos is completely craft your own. You know what crafting is, don't you? Just open up that crafting menu and we can get started. Congratulations, new kid. With an enchilada and a burrito, you've crafted an enchirito. That's the first time anyone's ever done that. And what the hell? Have a few more recipes. They might just save your stupid ass. Go. And just one more thing. They say that some farts are so powerful they can actually bend the fabric of time. You be careful out there. You're the new kid, right? Oh, great. Thanks for coming. Have a seat. As your counselor, you can talk to me about anything, okay? I understand you want to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I'm highly trained in um uh, sex issues, okay? And you don't have to be afraid. Okay, new kid. It's it's really simple. When uh when you want to talk about your sex, you simply you can start by simply saying, you know, I'm, I'm a boy or a girl or other. 
Okay. Boy, right, exactly, you got it. Now, new kid, this might get confusing, but listen close, okay? If you were born a boy, that's called being a cisgender boy, okay? Or cis for short. But, well, you, you might have transitioned into being a boy. You see what I mean? If you were not born a boy, but now a... Uh, ad identify as one, well, that's called being transgendered, okay? Or trans for short. Okay. So, um, do you identify as being cisgendered or transgendered? Take your time, okay? Okay, can you just hang on a minute? I need to call your parents. Just take a second. Uh, hello, this is Mr. Mackey, the school counselor. Yes, uh, uh, I have your child here in my office, and, well, he's just let me know that he's cisgender. That means he identifies with the sex he was assigned at birth. Oh, you knew that? Okay. Well, no, no, it's it's fine. I just wanted to make sure that you knew he had other options. You know, you don't, you don't always have to go with the first hand you're dealt. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. That's great to know. Uh, I think I can really maybe be of help from here on out, uh. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye-bye now. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we had this talk. As a cisgendered male myself, I know how hard it can be out there for a boy who chooses to love someone of the opposite sex. Just remember, love is love. Even if you're a guy who happens to like titties. Okay. <laughs> Just be careful, okay? Because there's, there's a lot of people out there who don't accept you for what you are, and then you're going to have to deal with them, okay? So, uh, but come see me anytime. New kid, you've done a decent job so far. Come back to the coon layer. I think we should advance your character. Coon out. All right, well, how's it going out there? Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm going to upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm going to let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're going to need to change your backstory, too. So let's go back again to that fateful night, back when you were little. You did lay awake that night, but the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror. You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power! <laughs> Ensnared by the cold, the intruder could only watch as it turned past him back! Hey, you can't just take a man's turn like that! Yeah, who do you think you are, kid? The intruders approached you, though little did they know they had set themselves up perfectly for a sand trap! I think this kid has some kind of power over ice and earth! Impossible! So you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened. You saw your dad fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cooning friends alert! Cooning friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! The Cooning friends alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! 
Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! No time to waste, butto. This way, butto. Toward the bus stop. It's a quicker trap. My coon sense is on fire. Freedom House is on the move. A confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. Ah, God damn it! So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole, and gird your loins for battle. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movie. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense. Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you. By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion. Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker! Good friends, deal with these assholes! <laughs> Fuck you, dude. It's Civil War, dick. Clear! Clear! Fuck on this, Jim Cow. to my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Uh, hello. Is this the little superhero who's getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. Hello, young person. I'm the mayor of South Park. You must be very excited to be here. Well, all right, look. You might be able to help me. This new crime wave in town, it isn't a coincidence. Some group or someone is trying to make me look bad. The more crime goes up, the more people start calling for my head. Whoever is behind this wants to see me get replaced. I need people like you. Please, find out who is behind the crime wave in our town. My political life depends on it. Cancel all my meetings today! Uh, you don't have any meetings today, ma'am. Excellent. Keep up the good work, Aid. There you go. Ah, there you are, Butthole. What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. What girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito, but the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise, at all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? If you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, 
His dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Carbon, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom. That's why I'm here. Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid! Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom and- Stop, stop. This is not what's important right now. We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo. Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends. He's such a fucking idiot. It's okay. Calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, Butto. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. What are you doing even talking to the school counselor? Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? No, we didn't talk about that at all. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned-out pothead! I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank! Oh, hey, whippersnapper! Have a fun day out playing? <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic. Sweetie, I just want you to know that whatever happens, Mommy always loved you. Good night, sweetheart. That time, that's when the creeps come out. But unfortunately for the creeps, the other thing that comes out at night is a key. school student. But then one day, a freak science accident turned my diabetes into superhuman strength. All right, sidekick. We're supposed to go investigate a girl who might know the location of the missing cat. Follow me. I'm pretty much like Bruce Banner. A loner, hoping to one day cure my diabetes and yet knowing it means I'll no longer be able to fat crab. Fuck, bitch. Let's see how you like this. I am Captain Diabetes, and this is my faithful sidekick. Oh, okay. Well, move out of the way, huh? I need to go buy some more beer. I'm sorry, but Captain Diabetes cannot let you drive. I'm fine to drive, okay? Get out of here. Hey, give me my keys. You are in no condition, sir. I'm fine, okay? Look, wait, look, look. I'm fine, okay? Give me my keys, please. I'll return them tomorrow. Give me my fucking keys, you little shit! You think I can dance with this? Let's go! Stop him, Sidekick! Hey, I almost spilled my drink! I'm keeping your keys, and that's final! Watch and learn, Sidekick! You guys want me to pick up anything at the store? Now I've got a shield that will absorb damage! 
Alright, you're gonna get it now! Totally impervious to pain! Give me my fucking keys! Goddamn keys! I'm afraid that's impossible! I can't believe I did that without falling! I'll get those keys right after this short little nap. Go on in, there's a shortcut through human kite's face. Shortcut's up there in the attic. The coon gave us permission to use it. Sometimes, when I have too much sugar, I get really angry and strong. I call it my diabetic rage. Just one second. This is Human Kite's secret base. The fearless hero and his sidekick descend into the dark night, ready to strike down evil and bring peace to the city. You don't think people get diabetes because their mom started doing childbirth, do you? I, I feel like Coon made that up to make Captain Diabetes feel insecure about himself. As you can see, Sidekick, at nighttime, South Park is quite a different place. We've got to get into the Peppermint Hippo, to the town square! <laughs> Best band in the fucking world. They could have me if. They simply have been pulled in back of the line, asshole. I die back, rage will do just a trick. Oh my god, here it comes. That's so much sugar. Yeah! Oh god, too much. Need insulin. Need insulin fast. Afraid to use this thing. Come on, you kid, into the restaurant. We just gotta lift that sign. Turn the sign, psychic. It is time for diabetic rage. <sighs> 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 Even my diabetic rage can't move this sign. <sighs> oh god. <sighs> it's too much. <sighs> I need my insulin. <sighs> I need my. Oh no. Oh god. I'm out of insulin. 
You got to help me on crazy apple juice, but I don't have any insulin. I'm going into diabetic shock. Um, I'm dying. Oh, God. Mom. Mom, I'm dying. Somebody, please. Please. You know what makes my fart super bad? Handcrafted text mix. Text mix. Not just any handcrafted text mix. It's got to be something extra special. Special. What happened? Who are you? Huh? Wait a minute. What happened? I saw that guy from diabetes. I remember seeing a bright light. The hand of God reaching towards me. Then somebody farted in my face and I was back. I can almost still smell it. Wow, your farts can actually move objects in time. That's impressive. Now let's get back to that stripper. Who friends? We found a female, but she's escaped to the Italian restaurant. Requesting back. You heard him. All coon friends to the book of the faggot genie. Oh, they they my... There they are. Where's the girl? She was just here. You didn't see her come in? Uh, no, we were busy sinking our watches. No, we were looking at menus because Cartman made us order food. Fighting crime on an empty stomach is very dangerous, human cat. It's for your own good. Whatever. She couldn't have left. We would have seen her go out the front door. Well, then maybe she's in the back. Okay, you guys check it out. Call us if you need help. We'll be waiting for you with our breadsticks. Those carbohydrate crusaders were no match for the Coonan friends. Huh, sidekick? Classy must have gone this way, but the path is barricaded. I could easily lift this out of our way, but I can't use my apple juice without insulin to bring me back down. I'm such a mild-mannered superhero, it's almost impossible to push me into a state of blind rage. Except... Wait, that's it! Your farts, sidekick! Your terrible farts that throw me into fits of rage! Of course! The coon wasn't trying to make me feel insecure when he told me that my mom's farts gave me diabetes. He was trying to help me unlock my true powers. We've got to get through there and get the classy sidekick for the good of South Park. For coon and friends, I need you to fart on my face. Ready when you are. <laughs> One diabetes rage coming up. It's hard for me to lose control of myself, but if we're ever in a dire situation like that again, Psychic, know that you can fart in my face. Holy guacamole! What is this? Oh, man! We gotta tell the guys! Coom! Now, yes, yes, got the diabetes. We found missing cats! A whole room of them! Dude, it scrambles one of them? Uh, negative. None of them are fat and old. Then what about the girl? We're still tracking her. We have to find out what she knows. Get going. She's so close, I can smell it. Come on, sidekick. Hold on, sidekick. Sounds like there could be trouble behind that door. There's someone in there. Get ready. One, two, Diamini! <laughs> See, I told you the cops were chasing me. And you led them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who are you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? That's digging up, Classy! These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom farted during labor and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. That is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them. Along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long. Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now! Uh-oh. Ah, what the? I want my keys! I don't have your keys, man. Ah, it's wasted on red wine. Red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah, ah, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. You're being unreasonable, Mr. Marsh. Let me call your wife. Leave shirt. Uh-uh, that's not fair. 
Like, y'all can't be using your ass to speed up time and skip people's turns and shit. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. I feel no pain. Damn, they got you all weak and shit. You better not lose, nigga. Hell yeah! Shit, shit, hang on. Sharon's texting me. I can't type. Why the fuck can't I type? Why are my thumbs so big? Hey, Siri, fucking take a note and tell my wife. Fuck off, fighting. Poop emoji. Oh, he's totally out of his mind. He's coming through. Oh, man, looks like I bet on the wrong horse. Yeah. This is the part where the bad guys regret their life choices. All right, I'm going to take a cab. There, nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes' watch. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit, y'all just want a cat. So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole started working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what what about the cats? Oh, that cats? Okay, that's his little Asian freak named Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cone friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Boca de Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick? There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now, who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are going to learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. Oh, man, what a great sleep. Yeah, I haven't slept that well in weeks. <sighs> so, you guys do anything interesting last night? Oh, no, you know, the usual. Just watched some TV and went to bed. Yep, nothing exciting in our b boring lives. 
Well then, I guess I'll just be seeing you guys tomorrow. You've got a big day ahead of you, new kid. Get changed into your superhero costume and wait for a message from the king. How'd you do that? That was dumb. All right, my lord. It's time for us to get the information we need from Classy. Any good superhero should know how to interrogate. Get over to Jimmy's house and find out what she knows. Keen, act. Wait, that's the farting vigilante. You again. Sub hero. Don't be farting in my face and shit. Hey, fast pass. One of your super homies is here. Oh, hey, new kid. The coon told me he wants you to question the witness, so go ahead. Have at it. Go ahead, new kid. Ask her anything you want. Oh, that's smart. Using the silent treatment can really make a witness a a antsy. All right, look. I know y'all need my help and shit, but I ain't talking to you. Go get my medication. Y your medication? Yeah, I can't think straight without my medication. You gotta go pick up my prescription, all right? Until you get my prescription, I ain't telling you little heroes fuck all nothing. See you, new kid. You made a real mistake when you attacked. Cover two radioactive elements. You're tough shit, don't you? Well, it's time for you to meet someone. Say hi, Rebecca. I'm gonna break you in half and stick you up my butt. Someone's about to get stuffed someplace dark and smelly. You messed with the wrong raisin, sugar. Get him, girl! Oh my god. Oh my god. What? A thousand people just disliked the picture of me in ballet class on Instagram. I'm totally getting trolled right now. What the F? Heather, why'd you tweet that I was going out with Eric Cartman? I didn't. I'm totally getting trolled right now, too. What the fuck? What the fuck? I just lost all my followers. I have to get to a computer. What the fuck? What the fuck? Hello, new kid. Don't worry. I'm unfriending their Instagrams exponentially. They won't be back for a while. You gotta be careful playing superhero. You can make a lot of enemies. Some boys think girls don't make good superheroes. What do you think? You think girls are just as good a gamers as you boys? You like to remain mysterious, huh? Fine. Look, you've got problems, new kid. Whatever you did last night got a lot of people's attention. Bad people. There's a crime boss who's been calling the shots here in South Park, and now that person is planning to run for office. Whatever you did last night scared him. I'm tracking everyone's Instagrams and Facebooks and will continue to cross-reference with Tumblr while monitoring Twitter and LinkedIn. If you need information, just know you can rely on Call Girl. Watch your back, handsome! Dad, yeah, this is for Classy. I threw in a couple hash nuggets and some granddaddy purple shatter on the house. But come by any time for a hookup. Well done, new kid. Now get that over to Classy. See? Here's the new kid now. You got Classy's prescription? Damn well, better hand my prescription. Well, it's about motherfucking time. Praise Jesus, I need this shit bad. If I don't get my medication, I lose my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? Alright, alright. That's much fucking better. All right, listen. The place y'all niggas need to go is you store it. That's where they taking the cats, you know what I'm saying? That's it. Coon, this is Fast Pass. The new kid got the intel from Classy. Not bad, new kid. What'd you find out? It's the you store it in the northeast of town. Classy says the cats are being taken dead. The you store it. We should have known. All right, keep Classy safe. I'll get back to you guys soon. Roger that. Fast Pass, ah, ah. Fast Pass, ah, ah. Fast Pass, ah, ah, ah. Fast Pass, ah, ah. Fast Pass, ah, ah. Fast Pass, ah, ah. Fast Pass, ah, ah. 
Let that pass out. Looky, looky, if it ain't my little hero. No, 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 we can't do the Super Craig movie before the Human Kite Netflix series, guys. That doesn't make any sense. Well, what about introducing Super Craig in the second Coon and Friends movie? That'd be pretty DC Comics of us. I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, Butt Lord, please have a seat. Sorry, guys, can I have a moment with Butt Lord, please? Sure thing. Come on, fast pass. Right behind you, Mosquito. <laughs> Butt Lord, I just wanted to let you know that we've decided to let you have your own Netflix series right after the Fast Pass Fox miniseries and the third Coon and Friends United movie. Congratulations. Okay, well, get out there and finish your goals. Just, uh, wanted to tell you the exciting news. What do you want, new kid? I already let you dual class. There's nothing left to talk about. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are not going to have three classes. New kid? New kid, no, do not give me those sad puppy eyes. Nobody gets to be three classes at... You think that just because you had to live through your dad fucking your mom, you should get all the sympathy in the world, don't you? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring that up. All right, all right, fine. If you were going to add another class, what would it be? Okay, but if you're going to be triple class, then we have to change your backstory. It is pretty dumb. Let's go back in time again. Back to when you were just a child. You couldn't sleep that night, but it was because you saw strange lights in the sky. You walked to the mirror. And in the mirror, you saw a kid who maybe wasn't from this world. And that's when you heard it. Strange alien sounds from the hallway. You walked out and saw two intruders and an alien in your house. You had to stop them, so you called upon your new powers. The Gigabolt Glow. The intruders moved in to retaliate. But your electric device is a gift that keeps on giving. The remaining intruder moved in. Without any of your inventions available, he was able to get in a critical hit! Kids and your damn toys. The alien took you by the hand and led you into a dark room. And that's when you saw that your dad had just fucked your mom. Whoa, boy, that is pretty tragic, new kid. I'm so sorry. Were the aliens helping you by showing you who fucked your mom, or were they trying to make you full of rage? You might never know. All right, get back out there, butt lord. You still have a lot of things to do. New kid, this is Fast Pass. Get to the playground. One of the Freedom Pals is calling us out. You're sure one of the Freedom Pals wants to meet with us? Yeah, his text said it was very urgent. Yeah, but why would the Freedom Pals want to talk to us? Unless this is some kind of trap. Relax, Coon friends. I didn't come to fight. Hello, Toolshed. Long time no see. Toolshed is a gadget tier class visionary archetype. And a butt-fucking traitor. Just listen to me. I understand that the new kid helped take my dad's keys last night. New kid, I don't know why you were looking out for my dad, but I owe you one. That's all I came to say. You might be in the wrong franchise, but if you ever need help, I'll return the favor. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, you think the new kid fucking cares about you? You belong to a loser zero-income franchise that's run by a douchebag in a wheelchair! At least he's not a fat little phone stealer. Oh, not him again. Come on! You call us losers when the only way you can get a lead is to steal it? Where is Dr. Timothy's phone? Sorry, freedom pussies. That info is classified. <laughs> you guys need to stop investigating the Chamber of Commerce and leave it to the professional superheroes. Oh yeah, you guys are the professional superheroes. It just so happens, Mysterion, that we already have a connection with Netflix. No, you don't. Yes, we do. We're just about to get the Human Kite Netflix series off the ground, so... No, Timmy, no. No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop it, Timmy! He's trying to rape my mind! 
They don't have a connection at Netflix. Freedom Pals just raped my mind, you guys. Let's get these pedophiles. Coon and friends assemble. Freedom Pals unite. Civil War II is going down. That's how Captain Diabetes deals with personal space invaders. Embarrass yourself. I'd call that an appropriate application. You do something? I was too busy. Another foe falls. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is twice we kicked your asses. You guys are nothing without the new kid and you know it. New kid, my offer stands. I still owe you one. And if you ever want to be part of a real franchise, just call me. Yeah, right. You guys are DC Comics, we're Marvel. Fucking asshole, you guys have Zack Snyder direct your fucking movies. There you are, Jesus, took you long enough. Have a seat, Butt Lord. So do you like lived out here now? All right, everyone. Butt Lord interrogated Classy and found out our next lead is at the U store it here in town. We need to infiltrate it tonight. It can't be done. Why not, Mosquito? Because the U store entrance is all lava. The whole thing is fucking lava? Shit, there has to be a way to get past it. There is tool shed. Tool shed? What's that donkey fucker have to do with anything? Toolshed has a device that clears lava, remember? It's one of his superpowers. Hey, and Toolshed said that he owes the new kid a favor. Well, looks like you're gonna come in handy again, Butt Lord. Super Craig, write an anonymous email to Toolshed. Tell him the new kid is ready to have his favor returned. Everyone else, go home and get in bed. We meet at the U store in tonight. To bed, everybody. Coon friends are on the cake. Go on home, Butt Lord. If all goes according to plan, Toolshed will meet up with you later. Just be careful. Toolshed is a two-faced, backstabbing butt sniffer. Why would you tell the school principal what race we are? I didn't tell him, our child did! But you confirmed it when the principal called you! How long before they find out everything? Our little boy is hurting, don't you get it? He's asking questions about his race and sexual orientation because he's confused! Confusion was the point! The more our child learns about the truth, the more dangerous it becomes, you stupid whore! Uh, hey, look who's here. Been out playing, little squirt? <laughs> Your dinner is on the table, pumpkin, then straight to bed. You have school tomorrow. <laughs> school tomorrow. <laughs> Don't even think of getting high right now. Oh. Yeah. Whatever's in these things are making you crazy! Crazy? Like telling the world who our child is that we took so long to hide? Hey kiddo, listen, I know we never talked about it, but your mother and I are very proud Americans. Night night, punk. Night falls upon the town like a fat, slimy turd. The stink of greed, corruption, and crime rises from the gutters and fills the streets. Only one thing can deal with fat turds. Cooning friends. Hashtag fuck freedom pass. Watch. Damn it. It's not safe. They're out there. Again, new kid. 
I have to put our petty differences aside. There's something happening to this city, and it needs tool shed. Well, follow me to Professor Chaos's lair. You'll probably want to know about my superhero backstory. You see, when I was just a child, my father was in the garage working on a project. There was a huge storm, and lightning blew my father off his workbench. I ran to help him, but at that moment, another blast somehow fused his power tools onto my body. I became a superhero, while my father was left mentally impaired. There you go, you fucking bitch! Why don't you, why don't you just, just take a shit in your face? Take this, you dumb whore! Randy, get in here right now and stop keying my car! Okay. But this is different. My father's acting even stupider than ever before. Perhaps Toolshed wants to help his father because he feels he could have saved him all those years ago. <laughs> what is your backstory? Did something happen with your parents too? That's okay if you don't want to talk about it. It must be very painful. They're here! Coon friends are Simbu! Well, well, the butt-fucking traitor actually showed up! Hey, whoa, whoa, nuh-uh! I said I'd help the new kid, not you losers! Yeah, well, the new kid is a coon friend, and coon friends work together, douche! Come on, we need to get inside this fence. Yeah, Toolshed, that's what the new kid wants. Fine! As long as there's a power generator nearby, I can use my dad's sandblaster to clear almost any obstacle. Wow, that is fantastic! That's got it! Coon and friends, let's go! Let's get one thing straight, Shed. I don't trust you. You make one move out of line and I'll shred you. I'm only here for the new kid, fat ass. After tonight, we're sworn enemies again. All right, Classy said the cats all go to one of these storage facilities. Everyone fan out. Here, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 meow, meow. That is a kite stereotype. What'd you find? to my parlor. I've bought more tinfoil and more minions than you could possibly fathom. I've been given $20,000 to keep nosy people away from this place. What? $20,000 just to keep people from snooping around. But I only need a few hundred for that. So you know what I'm gonna do with all the rest? Go to Paris and get a Pete Island house fit and fuck French chicks? Super Craig. Wrong! I'm going to destroy this town and prove that I'm the bad guy, not this new kingpin jerkhead. So long, coon friends. Minions? No minions, you gotta kill them. Ah, oh, dang it. God damn it. All right, let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. I see you. You didn't really think I wouldn't have a backup plan, did you? Do you not comprehend how many minions $20,000 can buy? Butters, will you just go home? We're trying to find a missing cat. I don't think so, coon friends. Butters, actually, if somebody gave you a bunch of money, by law, that money belongs to our franchise. All of us. Oh, no, you see. More cash means more minions. Let's see how you handle this. <laughs>
only knows. You guys take the alley over there. Super Craig and I are hitting the rooftops. Why would Chaos want to wrap an entire truck in aluminum foil? That's not the problem! Is aluminum foil really what you guys are concerned with? Who the fuck is that? You were right about the Italian restaurant, new kid. The owner is a part of a new crime syndicate. Who the fuck is that? I have no idea. Well, she's not in the union. Excuse me, are you on Coonstagram? There's someone new in town who's bringing all the crime families together. Okay, cool. Thank you. Bye. You mean like a kingpin? You guys do not say anything. We're not playing with her. Check out storage facility 56D, new kid. And here, take this. Call me if you need me. I think you're gonna need all the help you can get. So I guess now any fucking asshole thinks they can be a superhero. Come on, let's just find Scrambles and be done. You guys see Scrambles here? Oh shit, lava! <laughs> Are you not fucking around, Chaos? Not Professor Chaos, his partner in crime. General Disarray! Careful, he's a ginge. Do you know what Professor Chaos has planned for this city? Look, kid, you and Butters are taking this way too far. Yeah, it's time to teach you a lesson. That won't be as easy as you think. Partner, look out! Minions! Babados! Get him! Thanks for standing there like a little bitch deer in the headlights. Get them, Chaos Minions! Estamos colocados en el modo. Now, Mecha Minions, vámonos. Whatever el jefe wants. Lo siento. Don't count on it. We should make it. Wait, wait. Super Craig? Oh my god. Super Craig? Super Craig, just hold tight. Shit, there's no air compressor here. No way I can remove that lava. Hang on, Super Craig. We're gonna find something to plug Tool Shed Sam Blaster into. You and I both know I'm already dead. No, Super Craig. We're gonna find a way to save you. Do something, Tool Shed. There's nothing here. My Sam Blaster needs compressed air to work. Get the one from the entrance. The gate slammed and locked shut, remember? It's okay, guys. We all knew when we signed on to be coon friends that it might end like this. Stay calm, Super Craig. We're gonna get you home. Sorry, Coon, but it looks like this was a one-way trip. No, Super Craig, no! Pepper thinks of my past. Things I regret. People I wish I'd been kinder to. Somebody get a goddamn air compressor! Dude, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Do you know what kind of fart power someone would need to make that work? Jesus Christ, that's an asshole? What? What happened? The new kid shoved a tube up his ass and cleared away all the lava. Oh. You guys go and get chaos. I've got to try and stabilize Super Craig. Ow! Fuck! It's Q. What the fuck was that, you asshole? It's an intracardiac injection, Super Craig. I had to stabilize you. Are you fucking serious right now? You could have fucking killed me. Where the fuck did you get that, Cartman? Online. Super Craig, just stay still. You suffered a lot. You guys go ahead. I'm gonna just try and stabilize him. General Disarray? You there? Hello, General Disarray? The Coon friends are all burned away, right? Shit. Okay, Butthole. We need to get up to that water tower platform so we can do some fart core magic. See everything from up here. <laughs> this way, new kid. Cool shit. Always right for the job. <laughs> All 
right. All right, let's keep going, butt lord. I can hear cats. Hey, what the fuck? Who is that? Oh my god, that's the vigilante. That's right, the king. And some little fat kid, too. This cat, where is it? That's some real high-grade shit there. Cat like that would go to the boss man himself. You idiot! You don't talk about him! Now we gotta kill these shits! Make way for King! Now. Guess Crab doesn't pay after all, huh? <laughs> you got screwed! Looks like you could use some help! <laughs> Trolls. families working together. The Italians, the Russians, the sixth graders, they all work for him. We just put the cat urine in the drugs and alcohol. Who is the big man? He don't even do it for the money, man. It's like, it's like he wants more crime in the streets. Wow, that sounds spooky. You don't even know spooky, man. We got to do this if they tell us. Don't you get it? We're already dead for telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Get the kids now? La curacion! Oh fuck, take out these stupid healing minions! Oh, oh yeah, take that bitch! Ah. Starting mecha destruction cycle! Oh, ow, ah! This is coming together again! 
Pretty light show. This might sting. Try not to slip on your own guts. I'd hate for you to fall and hurt yourself. Okay, I did it, my lord. You got the potential. to do all this. Butter, wake up! I think he's dead, dude. He's not dead. Uh, fellas, I think we better get him back to base. All right, come on. Let's take him to the holding cell. The holding cell? Oh, jeez, it, it's kind of late, fellas. I should get home or I'm going to be grounded. You should have thought of that before you tried to lava the town, Chaos. Hey, dude. It was great working with you again, man. It was like old times. Yeah, well, I told you. This was a one-shot deal. I only helped out because I owe the new kid a favor. Come on, Shed. Come back to the team. Can't do that, Kite. Freedom Pals is gonna make way more money with their franchise. You're wrong. We're gonna make like a billion dollars. We're gonna make like a zillion dollars. But guys, think about it. Why would someone pay Butters to cause more chaos? Who could it be? Maybe it's that Tommy Nelson kid. He's always been kind of a dick. What if the person paying Butters wasn't a kid? I is that it, Chaos? Were you paid by an adult? I'm telling you, I don't know his name, fellas. Nobody does. He's just trying to unite all the crime families in town. He's everywhere. He's nameless. Faceless. He can change his appearance like the wind changes direction. Wait, what did you say? He says there's a revolution coming, and the darkness of our own hearts will bring about our undoing. Oh, my God. He... He is that which liberates, and he knows the true weakness of tolerance. And his coming will bring about a tide of chaos like nothing we've never seen, you mention. Oh my god. Could it be? No, it's impossible. What's impossible? There's only one person I know of who can disguise himself so easily. And it's the same person who might have a motive for tearing South Park apart. Who? Oh. Mitch Connor. Mitch Connor? Oh no, 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 no. Who's Mitch Connor? It's Carbon's dumbass hand puppet. You know damn well that Connor was just using my hand to suit his needs. At first, he disguised himself as Jennifer Lopez, who loves tacos and burritos. When his cover was blown, he was arrested by the police, but escaped. But why would he want to take down Zafpot? And where would he get all his money? Shut up, it's not Mitch stupid fucking Connor. How do you know? No, Kyle is right, you guys. It couldn't be Mitch Connor. Connor died in an oil rig explosion in Northern Alaska. Fuck this, I'm going to bed. Yes, yes, good idea, humankind. Everyone get back to your homes, it's getting late. Let's all reconvene tomorrow. After... Ski. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park! The South Park vigilante struck again last night, this time at a meth lab in the downtown New Stort facility. Here with more is a midget in a fedora. Tom, six people were arrested last night after the vigilante exposed a huge meth lab in the storage facility behind me. Eyewitnesses have come forward with shocking reports that the vigilante's farts were so awful they seemed to actually rip the fabric of time. You ain't never heard a fart like this, man. It was like one minute he farted on my dick and the next thing my dick was like 20 seconds in the past. Finally, someone is standing up to all the crime in this city. If you ask me, these people here all deserve to be farted on. He's a menace, if you ask me. How long before this vigilante gets radical and blows up a school or a church, huh? How long before Captain America becomes Captain Ideology? Huh? The third Captain America movie? How long was that? About six years? About six years! Dozens of protesters gathered outside the police station today as a warrant was issued for the vigilante's arrest. This city will not be victimized by mass crusaders who sneak around and fart on people at night. We urge all citizens to arm themselves and fight against this kind of rectal oppression. <sighs> yes. 
Yeah, it's me. Nobody knows anything about this kid. Not what race he is, not even if it's a boy or a girl. What do we do, sir? Just keep getting the product into people's drugs and alcohol. I'll handle the vigilante. This deal's getting out of control. You said you could get the mayor out of office. You wanted to be left alone, Commissioner. To do what you love doing. I've made that happen. Just stay calm and soon everyone will have exactly what they want. Hey kid, wait up! You are the new kid, right? My name's Wendy. Nice to have you at our school. That little problem Call Girl told you about? It's a lot worse. The Chamber of Commerce wants to get rid of the vigilante no matter what it takes. You know the bathrooms in the park? Call Girl wants you to meet her there. Right now. Yeah, anyway, nice to have you in town, new kid! See? It just spun around and different clothes came on. That's dumb. I need all Coon and friends to report to the Coon Lair. Repeat, all Coon and friends, report to the Coon Lair. Coon friends, these are dark times. We now know for a fact that Scrambles the Missing Cat is part of a larger conspiracy. We also know that the fucking Freedom Pals have more information about this conspiracy than we do. Fact. Maybe we should just face it, guys. Maybe Freedom Pals have a better super franchise than we do. Hey, that's no way to talk, Mosquito. The only reason that Freedom Pals are ahead of us right now is because they're butt-fucking cheaters who sold out. Yeah, but Freedom Pals have Dr. Timothy and he can read people's minds and bend reality. Yeah, because he just said that. When we made up our superpowers, he was like, well, I have every power to do fucking everything. You think that's fair? It's time for us to be as dirty as them. We have to know what the Freedom Pals know. Well, how are we ever going to get the help of the Freedom Pals? Send a spy. Someone in our group who pretends to want to switch sides and join Freedom Pass. Somebody who they don't know very well. The new kid joins Freedom Pals, then asks for assistance investigating the community in it. Hope the new kid is good at bullshitting. You'll never get past the security grids. They change it every day. I can get the new kid inside. I've got hacking abilities, remember? Because I'm a gadgeteer class with the tinkering ability. No dice, Chaos. You're just saying that to get out of jail. You better let him go. The new kid will need him. All right, fine. Get the new kid inside Freedom Pal's base. Okay! And if he tries anything funny, kill him. Alright, you ready to go to see Freedom Pal's with me? Come on, I gotta get my minions first. You're about to enter the chamber of chaos, new kid. There's no way to unsee the horrors within. Well, they cleaned up for a while, so watch where you're stepping. No, no, that's not it. What's this? No, no. Oh, here we go. My minions. Hey, little buddy, you ready to go hack some control panels? All right, let's get the Freedom Pals base. Where have you been, mister? Oh, hey, Dad. Uh, but but, uh, but I, just, I just been hanging out with my new, new friend. And I, you uh, didn't come home last night, Butters. Your mom and I were worried sick. We could barely enjoy the movie we were watching. I'm sorry, Dad. I, I just my new friend. And, and just, just really mean to Sorry's that. not going to cut it, mister. And you, what's your name? You got to say something. You don't understand. I asked you a question. Who are you? Please. Please don't do this. That does it. Butters? You are grounded, and so is your smart-ass little friend. <sighs> and so, Professor Chaos was locked away forever in maximum security. Hey, what'd you make that for, new kid? Well, what are you doing, new kid? Do you need to go to the bathroom? Oh, oh, uh, geez, geez new kid, I, I don't know. But be careful with him. <laughs> Whoopee! Holy happy new kid. Why well, your butt can do all kinds of cool stuff.
But, but that's impossible. I grounded you. How could you be here right now? It, it wasn't me, Dad. It was a new kid. You have some kind of ability to unground people? Whoever you touch becomes ungrounded, is that it? Your evil magic is not welcome here, Darkling. You're grounded! What do you think you're doing, kid? You're grounded for life! I, I, I am? But I don't feel grounded. Hey guys, I'm not grounded. I'm ungroundable! No! I gotta get out of here before my dad regains consciousness. We must go now and infiltrate the Freedom House base. Meet me outside the Freedom House School for the Gifted Intelligent. Here it is, Freedom Pal School for the Gifted and Talented. This way, do-gooder. Gee whiz, would you look at this? Wow, now this is a superhero base. Holy smokes, they got a training room and computers and lights. Well, this beats the crap out of Coon's base, huh, new kid? Gee, I can play here every day. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, uh, hey, Mysterion. Well, we were just hoping to speak with Dr. Timothy. Why? Uh, the new kid wants to switch franchises, and I told him I'd help. Hey, new kid. Thought you might end up here. They're here to spy on what Timothy is working on. I see we rip him to shreds. Calm down, everyone. Let's hear what they have to say. Oh, God. It's him. This is a fairly shocking change of heart for you, Professor. You really wish to help the new kids switch franchises? Well, yeah, yeah. You, you know, we just thought that, you, you know, your franchise seems a lot more open and progressive. And, but, you know, we just thought he should switch because Coon and Friends kind of isn't going anywhere. Oh, God, see, the new kid came to me and said, how do I quit Coon and Friends? And said, I hate Coon and Friends. I decided to help him out. You get anything? The aluminum foil on his helmet seems to be blocking my abilities. Don't trust them, Doc. They can't see what you've been working on back there. What if the new kid really wants to switch? We can see if the new kid's intentions are pure. We're sending Tupperware on a very important mission today. You can help him with that mission. I don't need backup, especially not a noob. Easy, Tup. Remember the Freedom Pals motto. Yeah, retribution, but with inclusion. I'll send you the details on the mission. When you get there, we can begin. In the meantime, I must get back to my work. You can ground me for life down here. Looking for answers? Mr. Connor sends his regards. He wanted to come himself, but he's a very busy man. He mentioned some horrible tragedy happened to your mother. Funny how a few moments in our lives can completely change who we are, huh? And now you're gonna be taken out by assassins known as the City Ninja Service. You know what to do with him when you're done. Hey, wait, you forgot to pay me. After it's done. No, 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 you hire services of a City Ninja Service, you'll pay in advance. That's, a, that's on the website. You don't sound Japanese. Are you sure you're really ninjas? Yeah, yeah, I'm ninja. Look at my fucking eyes. Come on, give me a check made out to a City Ninja Service. Just get it over with. Okay, hello. Uh, we're from uh, Shitty Ninja. I'm afraid we got paid to assassinate you today, so uh, we have to do that, of course, on Russ. You want to pay us not to? $5,000. Oh. 
Okay, if you don't want to pay bribe, we're going to have to uh, murder you. Bring the thunder! Uh, what the fuck? Hard to find a good ninja these days. Here comes the new kid. Over here. All right, kid. This is a very important mission. Are you sure you're up to it? Well, come on. Let's go, Freedom Pals. We're here for the community service. Oh, wonderful, everyone! Some of the local children are here to sing for us. Right. Oh. Oh. Eh. Oh. I love to play my triangle, my triangle goes. When I am sad, I love to hear my triangle go. It cheers me up. And it makes me smile. You suck! We're sorry, folks. This kid's new. I love, I love to play my triangle, my triangle goes. Ooh. I love to play my mandolin, my mandolin goes. When I am sad, I love to hear my mandolin go. It cheers me up. And makes me smile. Get off the stage! Eh? I love to play my mandolin, my mandolin goes. I love to play my flugelhorn, my flugelhorn goes. I love to play my flugel horn, my flugel horn goes. When I am sad, I love to hear my flugel horn go. It cheers, it cheers me up. Oh, oh, it's disgusting. And it makes me smile. Wait, that's the kid. It's the farting vigilante from the news. <laughs> That's the kid going around taking out all the drugs in town! The vigilante wants to take our poker set! What? Ah. ah! So many pissed off old people! Bring down the lightning! Oh. Uh, I think I got locked up! <laughs> That's my butthole! Um, uh, our butthole, I mean. Some trouble, but the mission is complete. Nice work, everyone. New kid, congratulations. You're officially a member of Freedom Pals. You can join us tonight on our mission to the police station. We've ascertained that the police are being paid off by whoever's running crime in the city. That's right. We believe we'll find the answers to what's going on there. Welcome to the team, friend. We'll see you tonight. Don't tell anyone we're going to the police station. Ha! Dude, that was awesome, new kid. Attention all coon friends, report to the coon lair. We know now what the Freedom Pals know. All coon friends to the coon lair. Great work, Butt Lord. Here's Butt Lord now. Great job, hero. Those Freedom Posers have no idea you fucked them over. All right, guys, listen up. Butt Lord has discovered that the Freedom Pals are infiltrating the police station tonight. We have to get there before they do. The police station? We can't take down the police, are you crazy? Yeah, just let the Freedom Pals go do it. We can't do that, guys. Why not? Because at approximately 10.30 a.m. this morning, Classy was arrested by the police. How do you know? Yo, what the fuck? You came where that little bitch said you protect my ass. They only give me one motherfucking phone call, so y'all niggas better come and get me the fuck out of here. Same ass superhero wannabe motherfuckers. We have to help her, fellas. We made a promise. If we let Freedom Pals go do this on their own, then we're the douchebag franchise they say we are. But why would Freedom Pals work with us? Don't forget the new kid is all buddy-buddy with Freedom Pals now. But Lord can trick them into an assault on the lower level of the police station, and meanwhile we'll sneak in and bust Classy out. 
you're probably gonna get the Freedom Pals killed. And then, whose superhero franchise would be number one? We did make a promise to Clashy. Everyone get home and get to bed. We have a big job to do tonight. That'll be all, Butt Lord. Go home and wait to hear from the Freedom Pass. What? What do you want now? What? Again with the puppy eyes. Are you fucking kidding me right now? No, new kid, absolutely not. You cannot have another class. Look, I'm sorry about what happened to your mother. I know that you want closure, but... Oh. No, I guess I don't know how it feels. You're right. You're right. Maybe you should have just one more class. Sometimes known as the monk in other dumb games. You were laying in bed and you heard your mom screaming. You walked out into the hallway. As a martial arts game superhero, you focused your chi to ready your body for combat. So you think you know Kung Fu, huh, kid? The fools didn't know the powers they were toying with. Stinted and with great focus executed your ultimate move, the Dragon Swagger! Wanna rile us up? Is that it, kid? Your foes flew into a blind rage, swinging futilely into your shielded body. <laughs> your opponents rendered stupefied in their own anger. You broke out the ancient and powerful dragon dance! shouldn't have doubted your moves, I'm sorry. Into your fist, you finish your blow off with a Dragon Force Punch! Okay, that was, that was actually pretty cool. You ran to your parents' door, and before anything bad could happen, you ran inside to protect your mom! But you were too late, your dad totally fucked her. <sighs> oh, it must be tearing you apart inside. How people can do that to other people, I just, I'm, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we've got work to do tonight. I'll see you at the police station. There's nothing more to talk about. I'll be in touch tonight after your parents think you're sleeping. You stupid fucking cow! Have another glass of Chardonnay, why don't you? I have to drink to deal with you! That marijuana is changing you somehow! At least marijuana is natural, not like... grapes! You're fucking hot! Maybe so, but I'm not telling everyone our child's secrets! Go be paranoid some more in your room, Chris! Have another drink, Kelly! Go be paranoid some more in your room, have Chris! Have another drink, Kelly! Oh, hey, kiddo! Daddy's gonna go upstairs to his room. Mommy's gonna go get a drink. <laughs> Sweetie, you forgot to eat your dinner. Mommy put it down on the table. Come on, honey. Gotta eat your supper. Did you put more of that stuff in our child's food? Shut your fucking mouth! How do we know that medicine doesn't have side effects, huh? You know our child needs the medicine as much as I do! Uh, you drunken whore! Fucking butthead! How dare you make our child choose sides! You put the medicine in his food, too! I'm not having anyone choose sides! Go on down and eat your supper, champ.
New kid, get dressed and meet me out front. Hurry, the night awaits. Cool room. Time. You know how hard it is to look mysterious when you're just standing around in some kid's front yard? It's pretty fucking hard. I'm glad you're with us, new kid. It's been tough being the only one on the team with real superpowers. While all the other kids are playing and working on their franchise plans, I'm stuck defending the city against evil, with barely any time to work on my pitch for a Mysterion spin-off movie. Sometimes it feels like a curse having these powers. You know how it is, because you're like me. I'm sure the power of your ass weighs heavy on you. Cena! Don't like to talk about it, huh? That's okay, I understand. Let's just get to the police station and find the evidence we need. No, ma'am. No, please don't. I'll be a good boy, I promise. Wow, the adults in this town are really out of their fucking minds. It's the farting vigilante! Oh, God, I wish I could... Jeez! You like eggs. What a bunch of dicks! It's worse than I thought, new kid. This is not normal. You're really mysterious, new kid. And coming from Mysterion, that's really high praise. Look, there they are! All right, Freedom Pals, here's the plan. Once we get inside the police station, Toolshed and the new kid will set up a diversion and then the... Wait a minute, what the fuck? Yeah, come on, guys, uh, we've got to get inside the police station. What are you assholes doing here? We're here to investigate a hot lead regarding the South Park Police. Ah, that's what we're doing! Oh, no, 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 this is our superhero mission, Freedom Pals. Fuck you guys. Get lost before there's a fight. Fellas, fellas, have we all forgotten there's a little girl in trouble in there? Fast pass is right. I suppose that just this once, we should put our petty differences aside and work together. All right, Mysterion, what's the plan? I think some of us should cause a diversion. Make the cops head towards it so the rest of us can sneak in without the cops noticing. Good idea. Coon friends will go up the fire escape and cause a diversion so Freedom Pals can sneak in the front. This is all pretty coincidental. Did you guys just steal our lead again? Innocent people are being arrested, Toolshed. That's all that matters to us. It should be all that matters to you. Okay, Coon friends up the fire escape. Come on, guys. Stand by. We gotta wait for the diversion. Come take a look at this. Oh man, that's strong shit. Yeah, does this coke seem a little off to you? No, no, this is sweet. You guys wanna call some hookers? What the fuck was that? Come on, let's check it out. Bring the coke. All right, come on, Butlord. The coast is clear. Oh shit, a criminal! And he's with an innocent child! Code Red, assault on the precinct! Wow, I didn't see that coming. Ah shit. I guess we're dealing with these guys ourselves. Here comes the shot! Uh, this is not how I'm... Look, I know why you're here. You're fed up. Because you think all cops do is harass black people. I know that to a young kid it can seem like cops are racist and bigoted, but you can't believe what the media tells you. Cops are just people. Like you, your friends, your family. People who work hard to- Spook! Oh, uh, Tupperware! Damn it, Levinsky, get your ass upstairs! Sir! The alarm. That fucking asshole shot at me. <laughs> get him. This isn't going to get any easier, but those cops need to pay. Hey, get us out of here. Token, thank God you're here, son. Dad, what the fuck are you doing here? Hey, you're the one who got me put in here. Trying to bring 
Okay, I know this looks bad. You really think cops just go around arresting black people for no reason? What purpose could that possibly serve? It's reverse discrimination, that's what it is. If we were all black cops and our jails were filled with white people, nobody would say a word. So I guess you've learned that the real bigots here are you. Huh, kids? Guess you can all go home. No? Fuck. We're innocent, so breaking out of jail isn't a crime, right? I'm not sticking around to find out. I smell a class action lawsuit. Supreme Court, here we come. Token, what did I tell you about playing too rough? But Mom, I was defending justice. I don't care what you were defending. You could have gotten hurt. But Tupor can't get hurt. He's impervious to pain. Is he impervious to getting his butt spanked? No. That's right. You know what a cop is, new kid? A cop is a slave. A robot who's told not to think for himself. It's the politicians who are the real bigots. That mayor has been sitting in her office telling us we have to change our ways. The only way to have her removed was to raise crime in the streets. And now cops are finally able to do things the old way again. Don't you see this is better for everyone? Holy shit, that's Scramble! What? You found the missing cat, butt lord! Freedom pals, we've got the police chief, top floor! What can I say? You kids have me by the balls. Almost by the balls. You know, not every prisoner we have here is black. We actually do have one white guy. This is a trap! I'm sorry, kids, but you left me no choice. He's still looking good. Eating the subway sandwiches. His name is Jared and he's still looking good. Hey kids, you want some candy? Oh fuck, it's Jared. You'll excuse me if I don't want to watch this. Ah. Damn, you're good! Well, you kids are pretty tough. But now let's see how you deal with my AIDS! Holy crap! Jared's AIDS are gonna kill us! <gasps> hey, you think it's easy being Mr. Fogel's PR team? I haven't slept in two years. My aides always make me feel better. You don't get to go. Voted father. That won't be good for Jared's brand. Supreme Thunder! Ah. Ta-da! I need lightning happen. Tupper tornado! You're tougher need. I'm just a sandwich guy. New kid, fart in his face. No, no, please, please, I'm sorry. I'll tell you anything. What is the police chief hiding? There's, there's more cells down below. Cops take that elevator. Prisoners go down there, but they don't come back. What's the code? Uh, come on, how should I know, huh? Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, I seen him type it in. 1477, please, I, I'm sorry. It's just that I like being with children, you know, because I, because I never had a childhood of my own. Yeah, that's it. I like kids, because I never had a childhood. It's your decision, new kid. Part of being a superhero is deciding what to do in moments like these. Well, that was pretty uncomfortable. I know being a vector for disease is kind of my thing, but I, I feel kind of dirty. Should we 
do anything with the body? Yeah. This is a one-time shot, Coon. After tonight, we are enemies again. Our petty little differences aren't what matter right now, Mysterion. Black lives matter. Yeah, dick. You're a fucking dick, Mosquito. Guys, if this takes much longer, I might need a short snack break. Huh? What was that? Hello? Hello, is someone there? No, I guess no one's there. Or else they would have said something. All right, then. It's just me and you, Kitty. No one's gonna find us in here. Come on. Give me that good stuff. Hey, stop it. Hold still. Oh, bananas. The cat got away. Can't see a thing in here. Sounds like the cat's getting into the toxic chemicals. Darn it, that's not good. I hope those weren't the toxic chemicals I was just talking about that broke on the floor just now. Oh no, I, I think they were. Drat. If those chemicals mixed together on the floor, it'll turn into a gas that'll kill me in seconds. Blast it, there's the gas. Yes, <laughs> it's definitely killing me now. <coughs> Oh, oh, thank God. The exhaust fan's sucking out the toxic gas. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna die. Now, where's that blasted cat? <coughs> oh, no. I think the cat just jumped into the exhaust fan and jammed it. The gas is filling up the room and it's killing me again. I'm dying again. Sounds like the emergency door close. Yep, the emergency door close. I'm trapped in here. I need to get out of here. Just have to <coughs> feel around for the doorknob. Here, here it is. Yes, I'm saved. Oh, blast it. The door's locked. Now I'm stuck in here. Somebody help me. The gas is killing me. I'm really dying this time. Seriously, I can feel myself dying. It's so painful. Help! For the, for the love of everything up here. If you're there, you can hear me right now. Do something. It's it's killing me. It's killing me. Wait. I think I feel the light switch. With my last breath, I'll just turn it on. Biohazard. Yeah, yeah, Shabnigaraf. Black goat of the woods. Blessed be us, your faithful servants, the destroyers of light. Yeah, yeah, Shabnigarath, black goat of 1,000 morbid young, draw down the moon and extinguish the sun. All right, let him go. No! Ah, uh, sir? Huh? Oh, I see. I guess because cops feed African Americans to an elder god, they're racist. Shabnigarath is an outer god, kids, who must be appeased and whose coming was foretold by the great H.P. Lovecraft. But I suppose H.P. Lovecraft was a racist, too. Oh, fuck. Was he really? Like, like how racist? Really, really? Yo, it's my homeboy! Get me the fuck up out of here! These niggas completely crack! Let's end it! All right. You kids want a battle? Let's do this. We have to end this now. Okay, chuck another one in. Oh, fucking hell no! No! The All-Mother can't stand white meat! Get out of tennis! Go. Oh, that gross bitch just fucking ovulated! Come here! Trust me, I know what I'm... You bring harm to the goat with a thousand young. I'm here to protect thee, my queen. Yeah. Ah. 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 
We've not. Freedom Pals, there's a certain intel we have that we can't share with you. You know, it's classified. That's because we've been tricked. Ah, fuck. The new kid played us, Freedom Pals. Wanting to join our side was a ruse. What? Yeah, the new kid kind of totally fucked you guys over. Sorry. They followed our lead to the police station and now intend to get a hundred dollar reward for that missing cat. Well, all is fair in love and war, Freedom Pussies. <laughs> I love when you call them Freedom Pussies. You assholes! We're the ones that stopped the police chief's evil plan! We deserve that hundred dollar reward! Oh yeah? Just try and take it from us! We will! Civil War 3, it's going down! That's it, new kid! We're gonna rip you apart! No, Mysterion! We won't fight the new kid. They will. Alright, new kid. Time to die! Let's get this little shit! The helmet must shield me from your mental powers. Okay, but then why didn't my brain get hacked? Sorry, Chaos. Unfortunately, Dr. Timothy can only dominate so many minds at once. Yes! Faster than the speed of thought. This might sting. Ah. The coon strikes again. Ah. Oof. Follow me on Coonstagram, or else you'll get the stick again. Ah. Nice kick. Thanks for standing there like a little bitch deep. Get out. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Super Best Friends. Let all debts be forgiven and all slaves free. Giving him shit. Coon is mostly impervious to cold. Congrats, super friend. Fucked by the long dong of judges. The doctor infected my brain. Oh, 
what the... What happened? How'd my lip get busted? Where the fuck did Classy go? Dr. Timothy! You fucking animal! He was trying to help us! Dude, Mysterion is pissed at you, new kid. You guys started this war, not us! You don't fucking understand! Dr. Timothy was working on a way to save all of us! Freedom Pals and Coon Friends! What? <laughs> Easy, Doc. You've taken a lot of hits. Wow, this is your guy's base? This is fantastic! This looks like so much fun! Yeah, I mean, Coon Lair has a lot of cool stuff, too. But yeah, this is cool. Dr. Timothy was never your enemy. He was trying to help us all. But how? With this. Oh my god. He's figured it out. It was Dr. Timothy's passion. He worked tirelessly on it. A franchise plan that involved everyone. Each hero got their own movie and TV series. Every hero mathematically equal to the other. Jesus. This is... incredible. Timothy almost worked himself to death trying to come up with it. <laughs> so while we were out trying to stick it to you guys, Timmy was actually trying to include us. Yeah, and then this kid nearly killed him. We're sorry the new kid is an asshole. That isn't our fault. Yeah, we were just using you guys. There's a hundred dollar reward for this cat. And you wanted her to yourselves. Yeah, but not anymore. If we proved anything tonight, it's that we are the best when we are all together. It's too late for that. We all started as one team. We all wanted to be superheroes for the same reason. To sell our franchise and make millions of dollars. Let's be one team again. I agree. Come on, guys. No more civil war. Let's get the reward money for this cat and use it together for one franchise. Yeah, let's do it. All right. But we're calling it Freedom Pals? Freedom Pals. And so, like, Timmy is sort of the leader of Freedom Pals? He's like, he's like the one in charge? Yes. Well, I think it's awesome. Honestly, Freedom Pals is a way better name than Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals. Freedom Pals. I'm super cool with this. Then it's so. Tomorrow, we get the reward money for Scrambles, and we use it to kickstart Timmy's franchise plan. Together. Freedom Pals. Retribution. But, but with inclusion! Fuck yeah, you guys. Let's do this. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, Sal Park! An attack on the SPPD police station last night has left citizens in shock and disbelief. With prisoners now on the loose and policemen in the hospital, one member of the Chamber of Commerce has had enough and is announcing his bid for mayor. The citizens of South Park deserve to feel safe. Safe from vigilantes who go around farting on people's heads. Together, we can free ourselves from the anal terrorism that has been forced upon us. My name is Mitch Connor, and I endorse this message. Sixth graders. Only they would stoop to this level. No, this was someone who wanted to hurt us personally. Yes, Siri. Incoming video message. Play the message, full screen. Oh, oh. What is this place? Hey, isn't that the new kid's parents? <laughs> this is a message to Coon and friends. Oh, 
God damn it. Looks like I have something that the new kid wants. That's good, because the new kid has something that I want. Connor, that son of a bitch. Care to make a trade, new kid? Let's make a deal. Hey, listen, you're gonna be in big trouble if you don't... Ah! This is the oh, 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 he hit me. Did you see that? Get outside, and then do exactly as I say, new kid, or you will never see your parents again. And hurry, or else there'll be more of this. Stop that! Stop! Honk, 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 honk. Where are they, fat ass? Where is who, human cat? The new kid's parents, where are they? How should I know? Because that's fucking you. You took the new kid's parents because you hate that we merged with Freedom Pals. That's not true. I want this mega franchise more than anybody. Tell him, guys. You have five seconds, Cartman. I'm on your side. The new kid, you believe me, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I'm out. I'll prove my innocence, you assholes. Come on, we gotta get that fat fuck. and you're gonna go there on foot. No fast travel, you got that? The first one is easy. Go to the place where people get their coffee fix. Better hurry, tick tock, tick tock. Hello, welcome to Tweet Coffee. What can I interest you in today? Oh, whoa, isn't that the vigilante? I don't know if you're a hero or a menace. Man, this coffee really has me buzzed. Hello? It's for you. That's real good, new kid. But now I'm gonna make things a little harder on you. Instead of telling you where to go, I'm giving you a riddle. You ready? A place where death comes in all shapes and sizes. Go into this door to find what your prize is. Dude, I'm so wasted on this stuff. But Lord, it's me, buddy. A place where death comes in all shapes and sizes? What, what could it mean? We've got to solve this riddle. Take down Connor together and prove our innocence. And hey, thanks for being the only one who believes in me. Hey, new kid. I've been following what's going on. I'm trying to pinpoint Cartman's location. For now, just do what he says so he doesn't get suspicious. Rita, pals, this is Super Craig. No sign of Cartman at the park. No sign of Cartman at Reasons either. Mosquito, stay on point. Get out of there. So, you solved my riddle, huh? You're not as dumb as I thought. You see the guy standing over there? Take a selfie with him. Do it now, your mom is gonna suffer! Crime fighting's not a game, vigilante. You're gonna get somebody killed. <laughs> you're getting close, new kid. But to find me, you're gonna have to solve one more riddle. I am a place where seats hang from chains. Part desert, part jungle, where happiness reigns. How did you solve my riddle? God, you're so smart. Wow, I'm so jelly. All right, you see that woman there? Go talk to her. He... He told me if I didn't do what he said, he'd do horrible things to my patio. Get a selfie with her. Do it now! I'm sorry, he, he said he would poop on my patio. What was I supposed to do? He, he just cleaned our patio. I had to do what he said. He, he told me if I didn't do what he said, he'd do horrible things to my patio. Let's get this fat turd while we can. All right, one, two, three. Oh my God, look. 
Where, where, where? If it isn't the Freedom Pals and their newest recruit. What have you done with the new kid's parents, fat ass? Nothing yet. But when I'm finished with you, I can't say they'll be exactly safe. This has gone far enough. We end it now. The only thing about to end is you, Mysterio. We aren't gonna fight you, Carmen. Now put your stupid hand down and stop playing games. We have to stop him, you guys. He's got all the new kid's followers now. Even with their help, you can't stop me, King. We'll see about that, motherfucker. All right, Cartman. You want us to kill Mitch Connor? We'll fucking kill him. <laughs> stop Mitch Connor, guys. Just try not to hit me. Your muscular body makes the most effective human shield, Coon. I am known for my super strength, you son of a bitch. What the fuck, new kid? I thought you were on my side. <laughs> Even the new kid has turned his back on you, Keen. Yeah, figure out I'm on your side yet? Oh, just look at the loyalty you inspire in your former comrades. You're the one being a dick to them. Stop before I break your fucking hand. Not if I break you first, Mysterion, which I miss. Yeah, I'm just a bystander here. Where are they? Where are the new kid's parents? <laughs> You'll never know. Potter, no! Shit, he's gone! Come on, we're taking this fat piece of shit back to base. What fat piece of shit, human catch? The only way we're going to get Carmen to talk is to torture him. Yeah, sometimes torture is the only answer. You're gonna torture me? For what? Everyone get back to Freedom Pal's base. We have to make this shithead talk. What are you talking about? Guys, it's me, the king! What the... What is wrong with you guys? I am not your enemy! You're gonna talk, Cartman. New kid, you're going to have to make Cartman talk. What? What are you gonna do with that? You guys are wasting your time. I'm the Coon. Torture doesn't work against me, remember? So, so what? Oh, this is so weak. See, it, it doesn't even phase me. Is that a cuttlefish? Oh, no, I, I prefer salmon myself. Not even a little bit. I can gobble those parts up, see? Yum, 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 yum. This is a waste of time. We should be going after the bad guy. Oh, yum, yum, yum. No, those parts don't bother me at all. Hit him again. Oh, jeez. Well, I guess we're done here, huh? Can someone reach around and get this knot? Well, actually, the asparagus might taste better with my vomit. <laughs> oh, now that's pretty gross, you guys. Oh, God. Yeah, you guys might as well give up. They're not the... <coughs> oh, no. No, you... oh, wait, 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 you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, God, the cats. What cats? I just remembered. C Connor, I think the, the fudge jarred my memory. The... He said something about making cats more powerful than... The... Yes, that's it. He must... he must want to genetically alter the cats. The genetics lab. Dr. Mephesto. Yes, that must be it, Jack! All right, the new kid's here. Come on, new kid! Can I help you? Yeah, hi, we signed up for the tour. Ah, uh, yes, the night tour, correct? Uh, yeah, we're a little early. Well, I'm afraid for safety purposes, the tours are only offered from 10 p.m. to midnight. What, just to be extra spooky? It'll be worth the wait, my friends. See you tonight. Shit. Well, now what do we do? We'll just have to wait. We can't afford to let anyone else go in or out of this gate. I agree, we're just gonna have to wait here till nighttime. Okay, how far away is that? Uh, about six hours. Alright, just wait six hours and we're good to go. How long now? Still about six hours. Okay, cool. This sure is gonna be exciting in six hours. Shut up, Scott. Did anybody bring any uh, snacks or anything? Yeah, we should have brought snacks. Oh, God, okay, how long now? Right around six hours still. Jesus, fuck. You know, kid, you still have yet to tap the full potential of your time bending ass. 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 Something that could enhance your ability could possibly make time pass more quickly. 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 You 
see that AC fan over there? Right there, behind you. Over by the gate. On the left side. Can't miss it. If you fart into that fan, the oscillation of the gas will filter it through the expansion valve, mixing it with the pressurized refrigerant inside the condenser coils. 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 Don't question if that makes any sense, kid. Just fart in the fan. Go on. I'll fire it up for you right now. Young people interested in genetic engineering, huh? Wonderful, please come in. Oh, hello. Oh, there's more. Hello, sir. My, my, there's a lot of you. Timmy! Well, I'm so pleased that you children are interested in genetic engineering. Genetic science began as a simple question. Can a monkey be made to have four asses instead of one? The answer was yes. And now we've been able to give more asses to pigs, horses, everything you can imagine. Yes, little boy. How does that help? Oh, you're one of the cynics, huh? Well, meet me over here for the tour and I'll show you how. Come on, don't be shy. We don't want to miss the four asses gorilla feeding. Please have a seat. You ever play that video game Half-Life? Okay, here we go. Here you can see our greenhouse. Genetic engineering is helpful to grow larger tomatoes, onions, cucumbers. Fruits and vegetables with more asses means more nutrition for people all around the planet. What good does that do? Oh, you Bible thumpers are all alike. Don't play God, you'll pay for it. <laughs> Let's continue up to the second level, shall we? Another benefit of genetic science, of course, is combining animals. Like these donkey apes, bunny fish, squirrel donkeys, and more. Once we put more asses on these, we will truly be benefiting science. Will you please explain how that benefits science at all? What's your name, little boy? Super Craig. You see, Super Craig, once we know how to do things to animals, we can hopefully apply them to mankind. You think having more asses is impossible? I tell you it's not. You see, genetic engineering is not just for animals and veggies. We are working towards helping people as well. Here you can see genetic mutations of my dead son. Most people don't remember that I once had a young child named Terrence. Oh yeah, I remember that kid. I was wondering whatever happened to him. Terrence was killed tragically in town when some kids were playing around with a relic belonging to Barbara Streisand. Oh, jeez, I think that was us. So, you're doing this all as a way to bring back your dead son? Bring him back? Well, of course not. I'm trying to give his dead body more asses so he can finally rest in peace. Now let's continue on to the fourth floor. Oh, fuck. Well, here we are. The top floor of the building and the end of our tour. What are these? These horrible, monstrous mistakes of science. Our new benefactor has asked that we genetically alter some of the local sixth graders and make them stronger and crazier. Okay, okay. Why the fuck would you do that? How do you mean? Why the fuck? Would you make genetically enhanced sixth graders? Calm down, Super Craig. How do you think we pay for all this? We have financial donors. Our latest benefactor has asked for this army of mutated sixth graders to protect his altered cats. What altered cats? Oh, right over this way. A wealthy benefactor named Mr. Connor has donated money to have stray cats enhanced with more asses. Our company can add asses to things at very competitive rates. The problem is that cats seem to become really aggressive when given more asses. They've proven to be quite deadly. Then why would you bring a bunch of kids up here? Look, there's nothing to worry about. This entire facility has a very complex security grid. Huh, that's never happened before. Oh shit, someone shut down the security grid. 
What do you mean? <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. What are you doing, fat ass? So, you figured out my little plan, huh, Freedom Pal? Think you can stop me? Oh, I have someone here who'd like to say hello, new kid. Go on, talk. Guys? Guys, it's me, the kid. Will you knock it off? Listen to me. Don't make any deals with this piece of garbage. He's an animal. Ah! That's enough out of you, kid. You've been a real pain in my ass, new kid. You should have known not to mess with Mitch Connor. Where the fuck are you? Mr. Connor, if you shut down the security grid, then everyone in this building is going to die. What? Sorry, Doc. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good of the city. So long, Freedom Pass. I'm afraid you're still hopelessly. I did the same thing as last time, and the result was indeed the same. Fascinating. Oops, now I've done it. Amazing. We... Here we go. I've got the door ready to open. Oops, now I've done it. Creatures, we must escape the lab. Maybe. Maybe we can go through some of the larger exhibits. This way, children. Oh, well, I really didn't think that was gonna work. Oh, Jesus, I don't want to... Mutant sixth graders are on the loose. This was definitely not supposed to happen. <laughs> Tour tram is offline. Somebody's gonna have to get to the CPU and hit the override switch. Where's the CPU? Down on the third level. Oh, it was silly to put it there, wasn't it? So somebody has to walk down to the third level and flip the switch? One, two, three, not it. Not it. Not, not it. it. Not, not it. it. Nah. <laughs> not it. Sorry, new kid, but it really should be you anyway. Yeah, if you think about it, this is all kind of your fault. Okay, you should be coming to my dead son now. Just keep heading west. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at the little fourthy! Come here, dork! Hey, Jasper! Get over here, dude! There's a picture of some boobs, man! Boobs? I wanna see some boobs! Where? New kid, thank God! You've got to stop him, he's out of his mind! Cartman, you fucking asshole, what are you doing? Connor brought me here, human cat. The sick son of a bitch- uh, You shut up, Coon. Soon this town will be rid of you and all the Coon friends. We're freedom pals, fat ass. We know what you're doing, Eric. Putting cat urine into people's drugs and alcohol to make them crazy. We want to know why. Yeah, why, you sick piece of- uh, do I really have to spell it out, Coon? This city is sick. We both know it. There's only one time of year when this town is the way it should be. On Christmas. So I join the Chamber of Commerce and use them to unleash my master plan. Escalate crime in the city, blame crime on mayor, run for mayor, get tons of followers, clone new kid into a genetic mutant, win election, make everyday Christmas. What do you think? Pretty sweet plan, right? Dude, quick! Take a selfie! <laughs> It's almost a shame that no one will ever know how perfectly my plan worked. 
Dude, you've gone too far this time. Nobody's gonna let you be mayor. Oh no, I've got all the new kids' followers. Every last one of them is now following me. Geez, that was smart. Eric, I know that Christmas every day sounds like fun, but it really wouldn't be. Fuck you, Dr. Timothy. If you guys don't mind, I've got an election to win. <laughs> God damn it! Well, there goes the main CPU. Darn it, why did I put that thing on a mobilized trap door? Why wouldn't you? I'm afraid now someone will have to go clear to the ground level and call for the tour tram from there. All right, fine. Hurry up, new kid. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, new kid. Stop My phone. What? Do it now! I can't. This is a D-Mobile dead zone. Of course it is. Toolshed, always right for the job. Ugh. We did it! There we go. You see, that wasn't so hard, was it? What took you so long, new kid? You're just screwing around having fun? All right, Freedom Pals. We've got to get out to the town and tell everyone what Cartman is doing. I don't think so, guys. You came all this way just to die, Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends. Freedom Pals! Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends, Coon and Friends! Careful, guys. He's got some kind of super weapon. It's over, fat ass. We're gonna tell everyone on you. Yeah, you hear that, Connor? You sick son of a bitch. <laughs> you shut up, Coon. We need each other, don't you get it? I create the crime and you stomp it out. I am good for your franchise. Oh, fuck, I get it now. But then the new kid had to come along and try to stop me for good. I had no choice but to have my own new kid built. What have you done, Eric? Simple. How do you stop a coon friend? By creating a massive, genetically altered coon friend from that hero's DNA. What? Oh, dude, that's so fucking base. What, what do you mean, Keen? Really? You're just gonna fight a superhero by creating a big genetic mutant from the hero's DNA? That's like every douchebag superhero movie ever. Yeah, because it's key. It's not key. No, no, it's cool because it's like the ultimate enemy. Oh, give me a break. Well, anyways, I wasn't able to finish getting the new kid's DNA, so I had to resort to cloning a different superhero. Which superhero? <laughs> everything is there a problem doctor Ooh, okay i just wish to observe a genetically augmented superhero squashing his tiny foes into a viscous red pace pretend i'm not here
Kid farted so big he made it next week. What? Check your phones. It's ten days later. Oh great! The new kid farted us to next week. Damn it! He screwed us. Way to go, new kid. Carmen's being sworn in as mayor today, and it's all the new kid's fault. Come on, Freedom Pals, we have to stop him. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! The whole mayor's office is blocked like a fortress. How can Cartman do that? He can do whatever he wants. He's mayor. Look up in the window. It's over. We lost. But we can't lose. Face it, Kyle. Thanks to the new kid, Cartman is mayor, and there's no one left to help us. New kid. New kid, come in. Who is that? Pretty sure that's Morgan Freeman. New kid. There's been some kind of time shift anomaly. I can only assume it came from your ass. Come to the taco shop. We have to fix this. You heard the man. All Freedom Pals report to Freeman's Tacos now. Oh my god, how cute am I when I bear a grudge? All right, the new kid's here. Morgan Freeman says he can help us stop Cartman. Yeah, how do we stop him now? He's already been elected mayor. It's the new kid's fault. He farted us forward in time. New kid, your farts have sped up time. We have to somehow go back and stop Mitch Connor from ever rising to power. This is the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme. The last time someone tried it, they farted so bad it created a wormhole that made time travel possible. Now, I have to warn you, friend. Once you eat the seven-layer Quesarito Chipotle Beefy Nacho Supreme, there is no going back. Make sure you have everything you need before you eat this. Do you understand? So you're ready to eat the seven-layer quesarito chipotle beefy nacho supreme? Now you must fart back in time to before Mitch Connor was sworn into office. You can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. Maybe the new kid has a fractured butthole. Fractured butthole? That's ridiculous. Toolshed is right. We have to get the kid to a doctor fast. Be careful, new kid. South Park is a really scary place on Christmas. Oh, hey, boys. Merry Christmas. I'm so fucked up. I feel like it's been Christmas for a year. What'd they put in these drinks? Mr. Mackey, there's cheese in your alcohol. You have to stop drinking. No, but it's the holidays, boys. You guys know the wrong with a little drink on the holidays. God, it's them again! Now, don't be scared, y'all. We're simply here to celebrate the coming of our Lord and Savior. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody! 
Yeah. Hey, look, it's the vigilante the mayor told us about. If we murder him, we get a prize. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo! Praise Satan! Uh-oh, that's really warm. Oh, Foxy, your dark magic is just excellent. Hail Satan! Santa down from the sky. You killed my reindeer. Ho, 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 yeah. Hey, look, it's Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Well, now maybe we can eat his flesh. Hail Satan. Oh, you little fuck critters again, huh? Santa's gonna kick the shit out of you. Well, Shucks, we weren't expecting Santa to show up. Whatever will we do? We're in a bit of a bind, Rabbity. Don't be sad, Barry. Shucks, I can just sacrifice myself. Hooray! Santa's about to go to town on your ass! Oh. Season's beatings! They fought breakfast and breakfast won! Nice one, you kid! It's so great when we all work together. Oh boy, time to rain fire. Ow! Gosh, is it help? Yeah, you find the way. That's one less creep. Quick burst of energy to show those bad guys you mean business? Mint and berries for the little hero in you. Retribution, but with inclusion. Thanks for your help, Santa. You're welcome, kids. Now what the fuck is this all about? We're sorry, but we're trying to go back in time, but the new kid has a fractured butthole, so we're trying to get him to the abortion clinic. Oh, I see. All right, you kids get his ass fixed. Santa will hold off these drunken fuckwads. Get moving to the abortion clinic. Tina! <laughs> Tina, I'm sorry! Stand back, kids. We got a lot of abortions today. It's Christmas. We need a doctor to look at our friend's asshole. Let me guess. Who's got a big crack down the middle? Ha ha. No! Please, you have to listen. None of this is supposed to happen. The mayor has to be stopped. We know how to do it. The mayor? That scumbag made the town the shithole it is today. We can put a stop to it. Please, just look at our friend's ass. Yeah, it's fractured, all right. Can you fix it? Well, I put a splint on it and a little sling to take pressure off the sphincter. Try it, kid. Try to take us back. Holy shit, dude! You can do it, new kid. You got this, butthole. Your friends are 
at the door and they want you to come out and play. We should be happy that he's made friends in this town so quickly. We came here to hide. More friends just means more trouble. You're being paranoid. You need to lay off that stuff. It's changing you. Oh, lay off. It's the one thing that helps me relax from your stupid shit. Oh, hey, whippersnapper. Didn't see you there. Your friends are downstairs, kiddo. Get out there and play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The heathens are attempting to overtake Koopa Keep. You gotta come back, my liege. You're our only hope. Who's that? Hey, we're not playing superheroes, dumbass. Come on, new kid. Smile real good, King. Stupid King. Get out of the way, you guys. We've gotta stop Cartman before he starts all this. What are you kids doing? We stopped playing superheroes like five days ago. Yeah, get lost, juice bags. This isn't a trick, it's me, Craig. Fuck you, dude. I'm Craig. We don't have time for this. Stand aside, we have to get to Cartman. Well, you just have to get past us and our first Go forth and look, friends. You know what would make that more impressive? Lightning. Stupid Craig. Butchin no jutsu. Are you serious? That's so fucking late. Ugh, guess I gotta take this asshole on. It's my turn. You're no match for us. Wow, past Kyle had such a cool costume. What happened? Hey! Strike! Ah, ah, ah. Ow! Shit, why did it have to come? <laughs> Fear the butthole! As I change my Oh jeez! Don't worry, I got this. We will fight by your side, my liege. Oh, hey! Ah. We're back! You kneel before the king, future new kid! Do that. 
Are you joking? It's like the rules don't even matter. Jesus Christ, did you see that? Oh, hi, kids. I believe Eric is up in his room. Guys, I was just traveling back in time to find you. A cat's missing. There's a big reward. Wait, why are you guys already playing superheroes? We know what you're up to, fat ass. Mysterion? But you're with the Freedom Pals. We're all Freedom Pals. We're from the future, you fat turd. No, I'm from the future. I was just coming back to stick a truth times to get you guys. We aren't playing anymore. We know everything. Show us your left hand. My left hand? For what Show you us your fucking left hand! Heh. <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pass. Time travel. Ain't it a bitch. Connor, what the hell are you doing here? I had a plan to use the new kid as means to get what I always wanted. But it looks like some do-gooders traveled back in time to stop me. Cartman, I swear to God, if you don't knock it off, I'm- But that's okay, because I still know something you all don't. What's that? How to make someone fart super bad by hitting them in the solar plexus? Yeah! Connor, no! Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, go back in time, time, time. Time tunnel's so weak, weak, weak. No, it's not weak, it's key, key, key. Where are we now, Connor? We're in the time that a superhero was born. Recognize this place, new kid? A little child laying awake at night, unable to sleep. Why have you brought us here? Don't you see? This is the night, new kid. The fateful night your dad fucked your mom. You walked to the mirror. Don't do this to him. But don't you see, Coon? This is what he wanted all along. To fix it. <sighs> you heard your mother calling for help, so you left your room. Don't go, new kid. You can't change the past. Of course you can. Go look. Yes! Don't you see, new kid? I've given you an opportunity. Which will you do, new kid? Fight the bad guys again? Or fight your younger self so that you never have to witness what's behind your parents' door? Bad guys? Hey, man, look, we're just followers. What? You're the little kid with the, like a zillion followers, right? We just thought, well, we thought that if you could add us and maybe, you know, maybe we could have friends. Because we don't really have any followers. Couldn't you please add us? Oh boy, oh boy. It's happening. <laughs> we did it, everyone. I'm so happy. Oh, hey, kiddo. Everything all right? G go back to bed, honey. Daddy and I are a little busy, okay? You did it! You stopped your dad! You saved your mom, new kid! <laughs> That's right! And now there's nobody left to stop me! I'm off to another team, team, team! Connor, no! Who the hell are you? I'm the coon. This is your kid from the future. Our child from the future? Oh, God, I knew something like this would happen. Our child knows we've been lying and wants some answers. You're right, kiddo. We've been dishonest. But only because we wanted to protect you. The truth is, your mom and I have certain abilities, powers that normal humans don't have. I discovered mine when I was younger. One day, I created a Facebook profile, and within a few hours, I had over three million followers. My powers are similar, except they only seem to work on Instagram. I got four million followers as soon as I posted my first picture. Of course, powers like that don't go unnoticed for long. Shortly after that, your mother and I were kidnapped by the government, where they had scientists spending months doing experiments on us, trying to figure out how we were able to gain so many followers so fast. That's where your dad and I met and fell in love. Inside a cold, damp government lab. Yes. By day, they ran experiments. And by night, we made sweet love. My powers combined with your mother's? You received over 10 million followers the minute you were born. And by the time they cut the umbilical cord, you were already more powerful than all the Kardashians combined. That's why we had to escape. Because we knew the government would use you to do horrible things. And we've been on the run ever since, moving from city to city, always trying to stay one step ahead. But everywhere we go, you just can't seem to stop gaining followers. 
Sometimes they even break into our house and use our toilet just to be close to you. That's why we've been putting special medicine in your dinner, sweetie, to try to curb your powers. But it didn't work. The side effects of the medicine just gave you really powerful and really smelly farts. We're sorry, kiddo. Oh my god. I feel so relieved to have finally told the truth. Me too, honey. I... You know, I don't think I need to drink anymore. And I don't need to run from my problems with pop brownies. Oh, honey. I feel like our future is going to be totally different now. I believe in us. Oh, God, Barf. What about you, sweetie? Now that you know the truth, do... Do you think you can believe in yourself, too? in downtown South Park. But where is everybody? More importantly, what period of time have we landed at? Alright, let's get this thing started! Look, butt lord! Today is a great day for South Park! This town has sucked for a long time, and finally Mitch Connor's gonna be sworn in as mayor! It is my honor to introduce Mitch Connor today, a man with some fucking balls! Find the turf shit around! You did it, Butler. It's inauguration day. We can still stop Connor from becoming mayor. Come on! We can still stop this fucker! There he is! Guys? Y you're alive? Oh, thank God! Mitch Connor's about to be sworn in. Come on, guys, we gotta stop him. You're not going anywhere, you piece of shit. You're gonna finally admit this was all you. I am not on Mitch Connor's side, you guys. Stop this. You are Mitch Connor. Admit it, Cartman. No, I'm not, Cal. Admit it. No, Cal. I have no control over Mitch Connor. You are Mitch Connor. You've always been Mitch Connor, and you better stop right fucking now. Then how do you explain this, Cal? Well, 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 the plot thickens. That's not funny, Cal. I'm not doing it. Dude, fuck you. What's the matter, Kim? Shoes on the other hand? Cal, fucking knock it off. Why are you pissed at him? Because he's fucking making it up, that's why. I'm not making it up, dude. That's your fucking hand, asshole. Stop fucking trolling me. How is he trolling you, Keen? Because he's trying to teach me a lesson about being deceitful. Wait, so you admit you were making it up before? See, this is a troll to get me to admit I was trolling you guys. <laughs> this is just what I wanted. All the coon friends at each other's throats. Dude, come on, are you doing that? Maybe he is. Which means maybe Cartman was just doing it before. Well, will you admit it, Cartman? You see? That proves it. See what he's doing? Right? I have no fucking idea. Oh, how one little issue of mistrust can rip a team apart. Well, Freedom Pals, who do you attack? Me? Or the Keen? <laughs> Knock it off, Kyle. Seriously, it's not fucking funny. Dude, I'm not doing it. Bullshit. What's the matter, Coon? You're not happy to see me? <laughs> Fuck you, Cal. This whole turn of events has boggled even my giant brain. New rule, any damage I take goes to the coon. What? Ah, fuck! Uh, status effects too. What the, what the hell? Mitch, stop! This is cruel! No can do, human cat. It's the ruse. You son of a bitch! Oh, I'm up? Okay. Ah, ow! In this charade, human kite. <laughs> oh, yeah! I'm not the bad guy here! No hard feelings, Coon. Yeah. Uh, God, goddamn you guys. This isn't fair. I'll say. Well, well, well. Good to see you again, Mitch from an alternate universe. Oh, God, fucking damn it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, Kai. Just doing my duty. <laughs> that was lame, so it didn't count. Oh, and you're on fire now. We've lost the coon. Oh, well, it'll take more than that, Freedom Paz. Oh, this is getting fucking retarded. I agree. The only way to end this is to defeat both of them.
Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. No! Ha! You're not even good enough to be my fake. Cartman, this is your fault. Ugh. That's a my mint. Drop it, fat ass. Tell these guys you were just fucking with me. They're gonna just keep beating the shit out of both of us. Yeah, dude, Kyle, if you're just fucking with us, we have to know. You're just making things more confusing. If I was just fucking with you, then so was he. Fine. Maybe I'll admit it. I'll admit I was just fucking with you guys. But only if Kyle admits to it first. I'm not saying anything until he does. You admit it first. All right, fine. We'll both admit it at the same time, all right? On three, we'll both say... I was just fucking with you. Fine? Fine. Okay, fine. One, two, three. I was just fucking with you. Ha ha, gotcha. Oh, you asshole. And for too long, our town has been led by a dumbass bitch mayor who never did anything to stop crime. And now Mitch Connor's gonna- All right, all right, enough talking. Just make me mayor already. It's Mitch Connor. Go on, hurry, swear me in. All right, uh, to begin the inauguration, Mr. Connor, would you raise your right hand, please? I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. Wait! Wait, stop! No! What's going on here? Just finish this ceremony. Everyone, listen! This is all just a plan to get more crime in our town so that the Coon and French franchise would be bigger than the Freedom Pals franchise! Cat urine has been put into your drugs and alcohol to raise crime in the city so that the coon would have more crime to fight. Everything was thought of by this asshole. Mitch Connor rides a fat raccoon? No, don't you get it? He did it all! Go ahead, new kid. Show them the selfie you took. Good. Now upload it to me and I'll put it on Connor's Instagram for everyone to see. Huh? Look! Mitch Connor's plan? Hey, they're right! You mean he was putting poison in our wine and cocaine? Why? Yeah, why? I'll tell you, eh? Because the new kid isn't the only person who had a parent get fucked. My dad got fucked when I was nine years old. What? Only two people on this stage know how that feels. Stop with that already! Shh, I want to hear this. My father will be avenged, even if it means everyone else has to die. Mitch? Mitch, it's over. Ma'am? What the hell are you doing here? I've been here all along, son. It's not your fault, Mitch. It's my fault. What are you talking about? It was me, Mitch. I'm the one who fucked your dad. Oh. What? You fucked my dad, ma'am? Why? I did it for us, son. I wanted a future for you. All these years, hunting for the person that fucked my dad, and it was my own mother? Mitch, try and stay calm. Fuck you, kid! You may be really cute, but even you can't fix this! Did he look at you, ma'am? Huh? Did he look you in the eye when he snuck up and fucked him? Mitch, it was a long time ago! Not to me! It's every day to me! Forgive her, Mitch! Please tell me you're not buying into this. I'm gonna kill you for what you did! Then just kill me, Mitch! Please, you kill me! I don't wanna live! Not kill you, you kill me! Not kill you, me! Well, thank God that guy isn't gonna be mayor. Come on, everybody. Let's go get clean drugs and alcohol from the next town over. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> You're the tickle bunny. No, you're the Tickle Bunny. <laughs> oh, hey, kiddo. Been out playing with your friends, honey? This is a great town, isn't it? I love it here. I'm so glad that all those years ago we came clean about our child's past. I feel like, I don't know, like our lives are different now somehow. I love you. And I love you. In fact, 
Kiddo, would you excuse us for a moment? Mommy and Daddy have a little business to take care of upstairs. Oh, you little sneak. <laughs> Did you really think you could stop bad things from happening? Don't you see that chaos always catches up with you? You've tried being a hero. Why not let your darker side free? There's only one truth in this life, little kid. No matter how hard you try to change the past, your dad will always have fucked your mom. <laughs> Thanks for coming, new kid. All right, so this is the person you wish to have co-sign for you? Oh, that's correct. I, see, I hired a bunch of minions to help me destroy the town. Uh, but my plan didn't actually come to fruition, so I'm unable to pay the minions at this time. All right, well, what we can do is set up an LLC for you, which we could use to fund a money market account co-signed by your friend here, whose house we can put a lien on to an overseas investment fee, and it's gone! What's gone? Your friend's house. It's gone. Owned by a company in Hong Kong now. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> 